I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. When I'm in Jamaica, dead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get lost because I'm gonna, just gonna eat anyway. Pe- people are gonna be like, and I'm gonna be like, uh, when I'm you go in Jamaica? Sorry. At some point in my life, I'll, I'll be there. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to Jamaica no soon, boy. Yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to go. Soon. I've never been to that part of the Caribbean. I've never been to like black, black Caribbean. Uh, tell a lie, actually. Um, what's the place? Um, Barbados, not Barbados. Bahamas, fl- Bahamas is, is is black. It's black. It's yeah. black. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't really. I didn't really think about on the it, resort. You know? That's why. You no, didn't, you didn't I, there wasn't. The there were no resorts. Really? The part, the island I went to is tiny. I went actually across the whole island <laughs> in in like half an hour. The whole whole island. Our our Wi Fi wasn't you know? working last night, so I sat and chatted to the missus for a change. I'm surprised to hear she no longer works at Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects, welcome to another episode of the Eloquently Say Nothing podcast. This is episode 85. Yeah. Hashtag ESM pod, at ESM podcast on all your social medias. I am Stavros Bus, and in the room with me tonight, I have Mr. Wolf. Yes, what's going on, people? Hope everybody's well. Where, where is yeah, it? Yeah, go on. No, there's no proverb. You might have to come back to me. Jesus Christy. Mm. Right, well, do the twenty sixteen. Only so a man know about that, you know. At um aka underscore Mr. Wolf on Twitter and aka Mr. Wolf on Instagram. And also in the room with us we have Big Wahala. What's good people? Big Wahala's in the building. <laughs> at Big Wahala on Insta, at Big Wahala on Twitter. Are you ready for your conversation? That Wait. happens to be candid. I've had the candid conversation still. It, it was a sticky one still. Yeah, I've had it, man. Well, I was yeah, on okay, there. Okay, yeah, we'll get to you in a minute, baby. Just chill out. It was a yes or no question. Yeah, it's you cool. All right. And also, we have s- 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 simple, simple, s- Simon, Simon. <laughs> Joker. Why go on, people? Mr. Problematic in the building. Yes. Hold on. It's problematic. That's going to be my new thing from now on. I'm Doing that, the hand claps is gonna be there at Simple Simon FB on Twitter. How oh, you doing, bro? I'm alright, man. Who should discuss that though? What's that? It's the ESN podcast, man. Then problematic. Yeah, let's discuss that then. Let's go right into it. Let's get to these because these gathering pod girls are coming for us, man. Hold on, have you, got, have you got your thing yet? Oh no, proverb today, man. All right, and cool, cool. Let's go on, it's, go on, it's go on, podcast beef with the gathering pod. Salute <laughs> the gathering pod. They're doing their thing. But they called us problematic. Problematic. I'm sure they were battering anyways, but still, let's, who, let's, who let's get to them anyway, just because we can. Who called who problematic? Nah. You, think you think they think we're problematic? Nah, yeah. Or you, potentially, yeah. 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 <laughs> in, fact, in, fact, in fact, let me say one or two things before we get into that. Yeah? Go on, bro. Um, first things first, I didn't. I have been away for two episodes, didn't yeah, I? At two least episodes. two, at least two. Mm, two episodes. Um, you were missed, bro. You look like you lost one, weight as well. I didn't even pick you up last week. Oh, yeah. I noticed, but it's all good. <laughs> and you feel I lost weight? Your face looks slimmer still. He would, yeah. he would come back to that, innit? Stress, man, stress. But anyway, um, on the last podcast that I was on, I forgot to mention that I gave blood, you know, and it is one thing that I will encourage everybody to do. I felt uh, proud of myself and um, giving blood for sickle cell. I think it, there's also places that you can give blood for lupus, I believe. So I will encourage everybody to do so. There are a few events that take place for people of African and Caribbean descent to give blood because we just do not do it. I think you, you, the one you went to was for sickle can. Yes. Yeah, so big up yes. sickle can. And it's funny, like Kenny. Yeah, it's funny that I know a lot of the people that help put that thing together. Yeah, I know a couple yeah. as well. It's, it, at one point, I want to try and get a um, couple of them on the show, to be honest. Yeah, so man. have that discussion. I've, I said I was going to do it. It's, it's me being um, long, to be honest. Any Anybody that we want to get guests, please, please, please bear with us. It's not a case that we don't want you one. It's just that sometimes, like today, 
we're doing podcasts at 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's, it's, it's only when we can get everyone together. It's Friday pop, night. We're pop out to the morning. Boy. It, for, to get all of us at the same time ain't easy. Anytime, and then we man. don't actually know when we're going to do the podcast sometimes bef- like, until the oh, day you apolog- before. Who are you apologising to? I'm not apologising. I'm just, I'm talking in general, innit? So people that know that, you know, when we're saying I'll get you on or we'll get you on at some point in time, it's not as easy as just to say we're going to get you on next week or the week after or the week on this, that and the other. But to be honest with you, if you know, you know, innit? If you know, you, you know. know. But they don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, they do now. Yeah. You get me. The other thing is, um, you mentioned it last week briefly about the uh, gathering that I put together at the park. And um, we spoke about getting together many times before, you know, parties and what have you. And this is part of the reason why I've done it. I used my birthday as an excuse to get people together. It was two weeks after my birthday. And um, and it was it, it was great, bro. I'm sick of your old blacks having birthdays. I though, enjoyed right? it, man. I'm sick it, of your old blacks having nah, birthdays. Nah, man, listen, I'm lucky because um, unfortunately my man couldn't be there. Well, I couldn't be there because of uh, prior arrangements. But um, the whole crew were there. A few people couldn't make it. Um, but we still had about, I don't know, I think it was about 70 or 80 people down there at one stage. Music was blazing. Sun was blazing, use uh, food and drink. The rum punch was on point. You know what I mean? There was loads of drink, man. It was wicked. I enjoyed myself. Our man was there with the drinks again. Yeah. My man, uh, Signature Effects, um, I've known for a little while. Guess about it. And, um, bring him up, man. Yeah, man. He's doing his thing. He's like a mobile uh, drinks man. So he does loads of cocktails and. Uh, punch and all sorts, man, and he sorted the people out. Got everybody kind of wavy. Yeah, check him out on Instagram. Was it, bit, uh, signature effects still? It was yeah. a Ray and nephew that he just he was making a punch and yeah. he just turned it over and he was just he talking to somebody in. else and I, he just left it there. I'm like, bruv, are you putting the whole? Th-? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, the whole bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's that's for the people that drink. I don't drink, so yeah. whatever, you know. Talking about Ray and nephew, shout out um, um, the off the cuff boys and their live show. I tried to get them like, lean off that day, man. Oh, it was you they were talking about? <laughs> Not just me, bruv. Everyone was trying it, but I, I also added my own to try to get them off lean. Mr. Vans was finished. <laughs> Big up Mr. Vans. He was finished. By the time that them man got to the end, Mr. Vans was barely barely able to see. Put it that way. Foles was a bit more smart. He tried his best to avoid it, but Mr. Vans was just taking the drinks. <laughs> Getting hit. Even a man out that's one of them girls there didn't slip something in there. Slip him a hickey, he bro. Like that, um, what's his name? Um, uh, Cosby wasn't in the crowd, boy. You know, like that. The problem. <laughs> hit him with the quaaludes. <laughs> in quaalude, boy. Anyway, let's get into this thing, man. Problematic. Yeah. Pro- problematic low. staff. That's what we should call you from now on. Problematic staff boss. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did it start off with <laughs> we, the ESN guys, are yeah. we problematic till problematic staff? Staff is problematic. <laughs> hold on. Because you're the one that always gets blocked. Who's made the claim? Um, I, I don't know what's going on here. All right. Man. So... Stav, as his normal self, has gone on to Twitter and, and went to go and harass women because that's what he does on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then it came to a point where they were bantering back or forth, whatever, and then that was that's that. But then at one point, they they said that we're problematic. And then I was thinking, oh, of course Stav's problematic, not me. He should be talking about it as well. But then it was like, nah, you as well. And then Simple Simon. And I was like, how? I don't know how I caught a stray bullet. Yeah, I don't but, know how I caught a straight bullet. One, of your, in the one, arm, one of your dreads was just hanged on to the end, didn't it? I don't know what happened, boy. I just got hit with a ricochet. Oh, Colour out of the box, ladies have said you're problematic as well. The colour out of the box said me. Yeah. I'm problematic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ban colour out of the box, then it ban them in it. Come on the show and they cause grief. They really told me I'm aggressive. Now they're telling me I'm problematic. In fact, it's only one of them, you know. I don't know. Only one of them still. I don't know if those were the exact words, but they've made reference to there's certain things you've said that they weren't happy with. Don't worry, man. Put colour out of the box love me anyway. They they love me. Look at that smile. That way they still telling me that they was respecting my comments at one point. So I'm I'm at one point. Yeah. So I think I think I think one day um Mo from Colour the Box is on my side. Next day she's not on my side. But this is bigger up still. This is the point. You can't agree with what everybody says. All so it's the not time. it's not problematic. It's not um the person's a, a a saint. It's just that you are or you know a person is a decent person from what I can see. They're not the devil. They're not they're not an angel either. Sometimes I agree with what they say. Sometimes I disagree with what they say. It doesn't have to be this problematic title. But, but you are it problematic. Though, bro. It, so what? No, so what, are we saying that? I don't. I, are we saying that? Um, because because I know this is what you do. 
Is it because you challenge people on Twitter that they have an issue with it? No, he's a, tro- he's a troll though still. Are no. hey, you a troll, bruv? He's, t- no, he's no, Takashi69, no, no, no. isn't it? <laughs> Stavro69, that's what they should call him. <laughs> Having <laughs> fun <laughs> in the booth. No, uh, what was it that the problem was <laughs> today? I can't even remember what it was, man. Today. So, what, what's it, kid? Flip it in there, bro. So what is it? That's what I'm saying, daily. Daily. Is this gets blocked daily. Are they blocking you, bruv? Sometimes, 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 sometimes. sometimes. Okay, Staff can go into a post. Okay, I've got, hello, I've got, I've block. got a hashtag now for when I get blocked. I, it, it hasn't got enough on it yet, so I'm not going to publish it. <laughs> but once I get a few more under my belt, <laughs> I'll push out the hashtag. Tell, tell no, the but people now, bro. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 no, man, but wait, but wait. I'm asking the question. Yeah, like, are you, are you just assuming this position now? Are you just going to be that guy now? Because it now it might sound like it's deliberate, like you're doing it on purpose, like you want people to block you. No, 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 no. There are times where people query me, yeah. and we have a debate, and I get blocked. And there are times <laughs> where, where <laughs> <laughs> you, you saying it like it's like you know, man, this gets blocked, man. Where I go to somebody else's page and query them, and then I get blocked. But the thing is, I don't go to somebody <laughs> that. Uh, what a lot of the time, what I see is because I've, I've, I follow people that do a lot of retweets. Yeah. So if it's somebody that's got um, written a comment and it's um, <laughs> it's quite popular and it's got you know twenty five people have responded. This is not the most people could respond, but anyway, it's twenty five people have answered the question or whatever. How can man just be getting blocked everywhere? How can you block? <laughs> How can you block? <laughs> How can you block, Mesa? So I will come and I'll say, oh, I'll give my my answer. All right, everybody else has made their comment. I'll comment on it too. And if they happen to respond to me, that's the time when you know the the conversation might may. may but the thing is, is give, me, well, give, 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 give me an example as to why they block you. Like, what do you say? What are you typing? Bro, he could say hello, <laughs> and they'll block him. But why? <laughs> because he's problematic. As he said, I don't know. I don't know. Well, why you built a reputation out there. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not, po- not popular it. like that. Uh, there was a time when somebody said, uh yeah, you know, I, I can't even be bothered to go back because the last time I've been blocked has been a." About two weeks ago now, I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> about two weeks. That's how you know it's happening. With I don't know. If, I don't even know if I've been blocked. But the, the, that's the beauty of being blocked, isn't it? But how does he always know then? I have no idea. Because, he went, could he go to go and talk to the baguette and his cut? Yeah, I was like, Fair oh, enough. you can't respond. They because often it won't just be that I've made my comment. They didn't like it. A block. Did they sneak block you? Sometimes it will be. I think that might have happened too. But sometimes <laughs> it will be they make a comment. I say, oh, I disagree because of this and that reason. Then they make a comment, and I say, mm, "Well, this is my rebuttal." Then they make a comment, and then when I go to make a comment, you're blocked. So it's like I don't, I don't want to argue with you anymore, whether it's uh, because I feel you're being rude, whether I think you're being dismissive, or whether you're just long. Other people would, would give up after two times. You keep coming back and back and back and back. Boy, and what I would say is, is because usually it's the women that block. Yeah, no offense, but usually it's the women that block. As a man blocks you, not enough. Okay, all right. Um, so usually it's the women that block. And what I'll say is that it's, I'm trying to do your favor because you're wrong and I'm right. So I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, I'm, tr- I'm trying to teach you and bring you over to the, to, the, to the righteous side. A lot of the times it will be relationship stuff as well. So me being the, 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 the self, you know, advised relationship expert, I feel I know what I'm talking about with some of these things. So if, I'll tell you about the ones today, actually. Self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed. I've, I've, talk amongst yourselves. I'll find the one today that actually happened and this is where, why, why it started in the first place today. I haven't even seen today's one. Does this one require... Is this uh, the one where I got the stray bullet, yeah? Yes. Is this require... Oh, no. That's yesterday, isn't it? That's yesterday, not today. It's not yesterday. Oh, it's like this morning. It's today, man. I don't know. Bro, oh, daily. Something happened today. Daily, I find stuff involved in some form of discussion or something, man. Somebody's looking to... Oh yeah, okay. There was yesterday and then today, but it's the same people that mm-hmm. I'm, okay. I'm discussing with. You know what? Sometimes I feel like if it was if this, if Twitter was the streets, I would have to be back in stuff beef every day. You know, <laughs> every day I'd have to be wait, looking behind my back to see whether or not somebody's coming for me for stuff, boy. It's too much. It's too much. I, I, and I'm not even gonna lie to you. Me that always likes to abuse stuff. Sometimes he's not even doing anything wrong. I think people read stuff wrong. I always. think I think people read stuff wrong often always. as well. Right. Does that does that make him a bad writer at times? Nah. I don't you know what? You know what the problem with Stav is? What's he doesn't that? read the room because he doesn't care about what is in the room. No, I, I, no, he can go into a room full of Asian people speaking Punjabi that can't speak English, speak English, and expect them to understand, <laughs> and then get vexed when they don't. A bit like when I was trying to order the chicken that day. Yeah, so, I, so I, 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 I disagree. I get him. Frago. I get him. Frago. I, I disagree with him. 
Okay. I disagree with you. Do what I would say is that everybody in the room can speak English. Do Franco. And maybe they don't like, they maybe, no, I don't, I don't like that example because everybody can understand what I'm saying. And what it is. He is said that, you're British, basically. No, 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 no. Do no, you no. understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I think put it put it this way. I don't no, want to be. He doesn't. I, he doesn't no, I, the I British part want, is that I, he doesn't care whether or not you understand what is coming no, out of his mouth. No, 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 no. I don't want to be condescending because what I found with men and women these days is it's a shame that men are coming around to this side. And I'll comment on that later on if you if you remind me about something. So if you're talking about the bow thing, remind me later. Yeah, the bow. The both. Just mention the both thing and I'll, and I'll explain something. Okay. That yeah. People want to be humoured and they want to be spoken down to. It's like they want to be spoken down to. So it's problematic when you're being honest with somebody. It's problematic when you're being direct with somebody. It's problematic when you tell somebody they're wrong and just tell them they're wrong. Because I've been told umpteen times, well, there's another way you could put it. So once they want, because if they're sensible enough, they'll admit they're wrong. But then they say, but, you know, you could have said it another way. But why do I have to say it another way? It was A and you said it was B. So I said, no, no, it's B, it was A. And they're like, no, but you should have, what you should have said is that maybe B is not the right way to put it. Maybe there's another road you can go down. I think sometimes. Like, why should I tell you that? Are you five that I need to talk to you like that? It's, it was A. So I'm telling you it was A. I think sometimes people see things as an attack rather than a, rather than a discussion. No. So when you write something, sometimes it can look like you're just trying to attack them. And plus, you put you try to add humor sometimes into your comments. And if you if your humor is not understood by that person that's reading it, it can come across as that you're just being rude. Yeah, so, but that condescending but, flex. But then there's also a genuine number of people that um, just want people to agree with them. Of course, they don't. And, want, and, they and don't that's why I said that. that. There's times when I think that he's done nothing wrong, bro. But it is it is what it is. They're just blocking. But I just don't understand why <laughs> it just gets blocked. All right, I'll tell you what happened yesterday. Right. You know what? It, it came since. Sorry, just to add, Go the blocking started when he married Gunners. Yeah, that's not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a representation of his head. Representation of his head. You know, right, 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 right. his head shape changed. Yeah. So the Gathering Pod, who, as we are recording, have had ten episodes, and they, they, they've had a, their anniversary episode for for ten. So congratulations to them. Congratulations. And um, yeah, sorry, yeah. So on that, on that note, I, and they were speaking about they don't get enough feedback. They actually mentioned this because they put out, um, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, a competition. No, oh, a competition, competition. Yeah, that was on it. episode nine. And they said, yeah, we get, a, you know, they, they do actually have feedback on, on social media. They even bigged us up on episode 10 and saying thank you for the, for the feedback from us and other people and other podcasts. But they said the, the competition they did, they, there weren't enough people that responded. And even I... So, Got the question. I could have answered the question. It was just like, uh, what, "What's your favorite part of the show? What, what, what did you enjoy about the show?" And we'll send you something. And even I didn't, didn't, didn't assume that because I assumed other people would would write in. So I was, let me not say that. Yeah. So I left that as that. But then on episode ten, ten, they said we didn't get enough feedback, man. We didn't get enough answers to the question. We're gonna leave it open for another week. Let us know what you think about the show, innit? Let us know. Talk to us. Don't DM us. They even cussed. We keep getting these in inboxes and DMs telling us, tell us in public, innit? Tell us what you feel about the the, the pod. Okay, that's what they said on episode 10. So after I listened to episode 10, <laughs> I actually wrote something on public. Oh, I and I said, I think going. I figured I out the pattern on the Gathering Pod show. They start off hyper but innocent and work their way up to a vicious state where they fling abuse at those they count as nonsensical, which culminates in the L of the week. Because at the end of the L of the week and the win of the week, yeah? Uh, people of weak disposition need not listen. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm saying that they start off, you know, whatever, because they have a topic. They usually work around two topics, one or two topics. They talk, 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 talk. And as they get more comfortable, you can see that the, the barriers drop. They get more into it. And these, these two, it's two ladies, they're not, they don't hold back. So once they, you know, get relaxed, they start dubbing people. And I love it. I'm all there for it. It's wicked. Yeah. So I'm not, I wasn't saying it in a bad way. I'm like, that's, you know, they start. You know, they get to the to the smoke that I enjoy. So they come back with um let me see. Because Kismet came to my rescue. Thank you very much, Kismet. We we, we love you. We love you. Came to your rescue, you know, like they were coming down with atomic bombs. Nah, see, nah, he's nah, trying nah. to say again, this is the problematic stuff. He's trying to say that black women are aggressive <laughs> uh, and that he can't just, you know, bro, he can't talk bro. to a black woman without them trying to attack him. This wasn't problematic stuff. They said fling abuse. Please expand on this. We don't usually speak about individuals during the main segment. We mainly give our opinions on the topic at hand. We are all for opinions, but I'm not going to tolerate someone making unfair statements about what we choose to put out. Hey. 
Slander. It's getting a bit personal, ain't it? I'm not even going to go further down. That's long. It, oh, yeah, it go, goes on, it goes, continue long, to read long, this thing. On, it goes on forever and ever. That's long, that's long. Yeah, but basically, it, it got worse. Before, yeah, yeah it, but that, that's the juicy bit, bruv. Then they can go and read it, innit? It's there. Go, go, to, go to my Twitter feed. It's at Stavros Bus. It's there somewhere, innit? They can... Um, it got worse, and then it got better. But the thing is, I'll put them on blast. All the beef happened on pu- public, but when it, when we m- made peace, we made peace in private. Yeah, because they want the smoke in it. I, 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 that's what I would do too. <laughs> I won't even make peace. I'm in the still public. confused at how I caught a stray bullet because you are also problematic. How? Because it, you're it, a half. It came a half down what? to what? A half Nigerian, half Jamaican. That's oh. a problematic person. Once oh, the peace God. was made in in private, that's cheating in both nations. <laughs> yeah. I don't like you, no. I've never liked you, bro. So I'll kill mama. Once the peace so me. was made in private, they came back to public and it was all sweet and low. This one here, Wahala tried to make a joke digging at me. Yeah. And it came back at him. And I got and I got a straight bullet back. <laughs> I'm like, ha! Huh. He's like, yeah, you can talk. You're problematic. And you know, I can't re- recognize everybody's voices, but I know it's, it's, it's you and, and Simple Simon as well. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this bastard here sitting there. Like he's not the most problematic <laughs> one of us all. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my Eddie Murphy laugh, boy. So all I'm saying is for the masses I'm out the there. I'm the innocent, man. I, like this pro- I don't like this problematic term because I think it's, it's flung around too. Yeah, sorry, you're right. The prob, no, man. Tick term. It's flung about too recklessly. I think it, if you're listening to the podcast and you actually enjoy the podcast, which I think these ladies do, maybe maybe I'm I'm being too forward. Stop me if I'm yeah. wrong. Stop me if I'm wrong. Exactly. So they said they liked it. Okay. Then sometimes, like you said, I, I listen to other people's podcasts. There's bits on there, bits I don't agree with what they're saying, but I'm never going to agree with everything you're saying, innit? So it's not problematic. I just disagree with this bit and I agree with I, I don't think it's just them, though. I think a lot of people probably think that we, if they uh, listen to us on a, on a regular basis, we see some aspects of us to be problematic, potentially. Okay, then let's, but, let's, but let's think, break down what's I, problematic. I, I, think, I don't know. I, I think, think we I, potentially do have some problematic things, but I don't s- think... Simple Simon, flesh it up, bruv. I don't think it, they're necessarily intentional. Go on. And I think we do a lot of work to... To, to, to the community? No, we... <laughs> Past the Umar business, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying we do a lot of work to fight against... The, the Brian James, baby. The, the, the prejudices and stuff that we know has been... Like rolling into us and stuff like that. Go on, give me an I'm, example. Cause we're tra- I don't know if we're I do. trying to understand, like, okay, our, the, the generation before us didn't have this women's rights, so didn't really care about women's business as much as we do. All right. So, so, so no, but no, you you talk about we are trying to fight what's in us. So don't worry about the the, the people. Before yeah. Us. So what, what is what it that you are doing that you feel uh, or that you did or that was in you almost, and you said, "But well, I've 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 got rid of this. You know, I've panned it out." Yeah, what's what the, made you change? This is something I'm co- I'm co- cognizant of, and I try not to do it. And we are working together as men not to do such and such. Um, I think because I ain't doing that shit. My an- <laughs> <laughs> problematic. I think, I think probably my anti. That's the episode. Of, 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 of course, of my course. My anti weave stance. I, I don't talk about that no more. <laughs> Damn you weave wearers, man. Or damn the weave itself. All right, see? I was, uh, see, right, there's, there's a, that's a problematic Okay, stuff. yeah, all right. No, no, it's not problematic. That is an example of me winding back. Because before I would say damn weave wearers, whereas now I just say damn You would actually bun them to hell, wouldn't it? No, I'll say bun the weave to hell now instead of the person wearing mm, the weave. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So, uh, so you have yes. changed. Yeah, changed yeah, okay, you give me an example. You give me an example. You, gave you, you but, answered, but, you answered but, it yourself. But like. bun weave. Bun weave, bun wigs, all that straight stuff. Allow it. And the example I give now when I'm telling people, and this is one thing that I've actually started saying to people, women, sorry, okay. and they actually, they actually listen. That they it's mad. Beautiful. It's mad. No, I, when I told them that, they were, I still got cussed. I'll talk to you. I'm going to say something after count. I say, I've got a, a young daughter now. Yeah? And if all my daughter sees, because usually, oh, yes. it'll usually be in public. Yes. And I'll say, I'll look, look around at all the women here. Now, seven, eight out of ten of them have straight hair that is not theirs somehow whether it's been relaxed or it's, or it's weave or it's wig or whatever if my daughter grows up around this and she's gonna feel that this is the sign of beauty then that's what she's gonna wanna do and I say and you can't argue with that really unless you're being stupid but you can't argue with that this is what beautiful women do this is what you do when you get older when you become a lady you, you straighten your hair having natural hair is not what you do when you get older and I say you women have a resp- black women have a responsibility to your What's, what's coming behind you to show them that this is not necessarily what you need to do to be beautiful. The same way us men have a responsibility to the people coming behind us to treat women well, to, to go and work properly for our jobs, not to show them to be criminals and whatnot. So I take that responsibility seriously. 
And I've, you guys know I do. I take my responsibility serious as, as an elder. I'm not that old yet, but I'm an elder to 20-year-olds, to 15-year-olds, that this is the path you should take. And you don't just do it with words, you do it with actions. Oh, oh, you have to say that with a woman as so, well, because so, they, they deal with action and word, boy. So there you go. So that's what I'm saying. My yeah, daughter, that's, that's my, the best my, way my you ever, my, ever put this my situation. My daughter grows up, because we were in the park the other day, and I said it to a couple of girls in the park, and there was enough girls in the park, we were doing Mr. Wolf's thing, and I told them to look around, and I think it's because so many women had it, that they didn't argue with me. And my daughter was right there in front of their face. I had mm, my daughter in my hand. Just looking. Yeah, exactly. I said, this is this is what she sees. And I turn around and everybody can see it. This is what she sees. But then here's the funny thing. You said we're, as women get older, crackers, crackers. We're, we're, as women get older, the straight hair is the <laughs> thing that becomes um, the sign of beauty. But there is a, I've noticed that when black women get to a certain age, they go natural. I've, they do. I've noticed that. Yeah, but, yeah, but after, not, that, but after that 35 going into 30, 40 and that, it's dreadlocks and I uh, think there's, locks I, I, and all I, I them I think there's thing. a group that go natural. Yeah, there's still and others. There's still a large but, but group But even that then, 15-year-old is looking at a, a 20 to 25-year-old. They're not looking at the 40-year-old that I want to emulate the 40 year old. That's anti you're, 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 you're looking at... If, Nowadays, you know, bigger you're, sister getting, status. you're getting 40 year olds that look younger than a 20 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Angela Bassett, bro. The thing I'll say about this, 40, this situation bro. with the hair thing, I think one, there's a film coming out with, um, what's that, that woman's name? Saina Lafon. Yeah, she's doing something about that. And two, the thing I always doing, say with. Doing something about what? About, like, to do with hair and, you know, another the, thing. The, but, uh, but the thing about, the, another thing that I always say with staff soft, that. Uh, soft that, hair woman. She's cut her hair off or whatever. I don't yeah, know. I've seen it. But I think she's, that's part of the, kind of the program to talk about straight. Oh, she looks so much better with no hair. I think that yeah also, oh, but um, um yes. the thing I always say with staff though is that you are so hard on the women, but I never hear you talk about the boys that are relaxing their hair like foolish idiots, and there's plenty of them doing it. They're lost, man. Yeah, but no, you gotta talk to them same way you talk to the women though. They're lost. So they want, they're, they're lost, so you can do, only ask the women. Do young men grow up idolizing straight? Hair? I don't know, but they're no. all doing it, bro. They're all doing. That all these young boys doing it. it That's bruv. Bruv. What you talking about? They, they, not for them. The footballers. All remember, all the footballers were doing it. These young boys in where? Or the area that I'm in, none for these young boys have got their straight hair. Footballers. Yeah, I don't see them doing it, bro. They do it. I con- see one con- or two. What, what I see is them. These young footballers, they kind of twist their hair. Some of them, yeah, and then they kind of. Color it in blonde and all these yeah. kind of and things. Somebody I don't see no Jericho. Bruv, conk. They conk their hair, man. That's an example. Wahala is giving an example of how we are trying to fight this uh, um, patriarchal thing that I was talking about earlier. He's looking for really quality where he's saying you should treat both sides the same. Whereas, back in the day, Man, them wouldn't even be thinking about that. Episode. I'm still. Not I've, always, about I've always cussed those man with their hair like I that. Cu- I cussed them. I cussed them. Man, so, so cussed you, you, you know, I cussed them. But but you don't come out in public. They'll say, "Wait, do you I know out, any man that does that?" Probably. Where? 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 I don't know. But <laughs> I, you don't really do. I don't know bro, any man that's too that. far between you now. You, which man do you know that does that? This but personally, I, remember I'm I, outside I, and I, I see remember, everybody. I remember, brother. I don't even know if I can say his name though. I can't remember. This is my point, bro. I know. I know, man. CS. Um, mm. Coffee drink. This is a college or something. You're talking no, about. no, it's a coffee drink. So it's not nobody that we know. Yeah, it is that we know. But the name of the person is, is a coffee name? drink. Espresso, cappuccino. But, but I don't know who you're talking about. Mocha. Okay. <laughs> did he? Did he do that? I don't even know this. I don't know. He's talking about. Stuff. Okay. Well, you'll figure like, it out. Louis you'll, 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 you'll figure it out. But the point is, Enough that man's done when it, I ask you, you did, did it even at one point? Who? No. Oh yeah. Did you <laughs> have a Jerry? No. no. He used to used to conk his hair still. Not used to. <laughs> Once my mum put relaxed in my hair. He for what hair. reason again? I can't even remember. He wanted to make it soft. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I cut it. I cut it like the, I cut it the day after. I think I did it before something, and then I cut it the day after. So it wasn't a, a long term thing. I cut it the day after. But well, anyways, but there are boys out like there. I'm not saying. You, I'm not saying that. You can't scatter them same way. Two things. Two things. One, I don't know anyone that. that, that, that mm-hmm. All right. So when I ask you, you know, you cannot answer the question. If I ask you how many women, know you. If I ask you how many women, you know that have straight hair. Can answer many many answers, so that's one. Many, and then many, two, so there is such many, a thing as a lost cause, exactly. and some of these men are lost causes. And I, I fight for my sisters. I don't necessarily fight so hard for my brothers. So you can call it, a, you know, a slant or I'm, I'm, the scales is wrong. But I, I, I love my black sisters more than my brothers, unfortunately. Oh, so that's oh, it. Oh, so oh, I, oh. I fight, I fight harder for my sisters. Problematic. Because I, because I am a defender <laughs> of the sisterhood. Are you? No, the sisters don't want that, that fight, do they? That, maybe they don't. They don't want this. They don't want. But sometimes they want you to fight for It's something like else. a child that doesn't <laughs> want to eat. That doesn't want to eat vegetables. You're mm. doing. A, you're doing something good for them, though, isn't it? You have to eat. Yeah, I suppose so. All right. So, um, fair enough. Is that is that that? I think so. Problematic. Um, have any of you listened to the uh, no. Nicki Minaj song, uh, album? Yeah. 
Have you, you heard that one song? Coming out. Which Which one? Album come out today. I'm so Dreams. far behind. Unfortunately, bro. yes. Unfortunately, we are recording so early. We're releasing on Tuesday. We're recording on Friday, which is a lot of stuff that you know we can't talk about because we missed it, or we could have fleshed out a lot if we had recorded later. But we ain't. So the album's come out today, and it's it's that dream song. Well, the album is trash, though. Yeah, you do know that. Have you heard it? Yeah. Okay. I've been listening to it. Nikki's, I don't, Nikki's I don't, not a good rapper. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I like Nikki's her voice. Ab- Nikki's albums are never good anyways. Yeah, yeah albums are never opinion. good. In she gets, opinion. she got good verses. She got, she can spit on a verse and, and, yeah, and smash I don't, a, I don't a, recall her having a good album. But just, I like her voice. But what, all I did immediately after I listened to this Nikki She does Minaj good album, cameos. That's what I said. Yeah. Verses. She's a, she's a cameo queen. The, mm. the thing I immediately did after listening to this Nikki album was put on Foxy Brown's Broker Silence. Foxy was so bad, man. She was so bad. This is a letter for you, girl. Please. But imagine that, boy. You Man is doing an Isley voice and start talking about Nikki's album, and then you go to Jesus. Foxy Brown. But that's is some, that how bad it is? Sometimes that's what happens. I mean, the Eminem verse wasn't wasn't, wasn't there. No, but the, the last bit where you <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the thing. But the album is Eminem is not good anymore either. Anyways, yeah. but, but that's the second second point. But there's a, a song on there where she recreates uh, Biggie's dreams. Of uh, effing an R and B woman, <laughs> woman, and she does the man's version. A queen. Did and but did someone else do the man's version? <laughs> Somebody else. Has someone else. Somebody, done Lil the Kim man did it. Lil Kim did it. Yeah, Lil it. Kim did the original one. So she's now because there's an issue because her album is called Queen. So oh. pe- people are asking Lil Kim, like, what do you think about it? She's not happy with it. Like, leave it alone. So she thing, she has issues with with thingy, Nicki but she also has it, issues it? with her nose and her skin and herself. So that's let's, what I'm saying. Let's leave Lil Kim. That's why Foxy's well, on the album. So's, so's, nah, so um, Foxy's on who, what album? On the little um, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj album. album. The one this new one. Yes, it's Foxy oh, the only wow. one that ain't bleach for real. Foxy, I don't know. What, Foxy didn't bleach, but she did the other stuff. Look at old pictures of Nicki Minaj and look at her now. Yeah, obviously, God obviously. Damn. Anyways, serious. Nicki Minaj, oh. bruv, Nicki I don't, Minaj. Bruv, I don't look at her. Enough yeah, but it's not know if it's bleach or it's just heavy makeup. It's what I'm saying. Surely no, it's the no, makeup. It's a whole bo- it's a yeah, whole yeah but they maybe, do you paint maybe, the whole body maybe, though. Maybe with the with the um Photoshop, maybe, maybe. Photoshop. I think it's the makeup. Photoshop. But I no, you put her beside um the makeup, like uh, who's that? Um, Rihanna. Is it not um, Rihanna. Dad, Rihanna. The, not the Rihanna. What's the, the the one that shakes her body? The move your hips, woman. Oh, um, Shakira. 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 Put her next to Shakira, and you won't know which one is darker. Is that they, they did that with Beyonce, don't they look the same? Yeah, but either yeah, way, yeah. as I said, it's, 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 but Beyonce at least always look like. Yeah, that's true. I, I think to be honest, you got it's one of them ones. Unless you see them in real without the makeup, you never know really. Innit? Mm. Anyways, so I Foxy's want, on the arm. I want to I want to talk about this dream song, bro. Right. She because what when Biggie did it, it didn't sound like it was an insult, innit? I don't know. Maybe I need to re-listen to it. And it see, wasn't an insult. And, he and wanted see, to bang them. That's the point. But the way she's gunning these, she's gunning them. Oh, she's gunning the oh, guys. Oh, my days. Yes. So, well, hold on, um, hold on. She's gunning the guys or the girls? The, the man them. And oh. one girl. Karuchi. She yeah. She Karuchi as well. <laughs> yeah. Bruv. She went at some man them. The man. only one she didn't cast is YG and the game. Because she said, when I said, because she, they're gangsters. And she said, when I wanted a gangbang, that's not what I was talking about. But really? the rest of them. So, um, Who's she cussing? DJ Khaled is too fat to bang. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Because, you know, DJ Khaled's come out recently and said that um, he doesn't he doesn't do licky licky. Yeah. Fat is yeah. you know. So that calls Afro when he said he doesn't do licky licky. She said, if. Uh, yeah, but be, by rights, DJ Khaled yeah, shouldn't be allowed said, to not be You saying cannot be that baby. fat and say you're not going to. Yeah, I agree with her. I kind of agree with that. <laughs> Blood of Jarrah. I kind of agree with that. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? She, you know what? <laughs> when she said that, I said to her, you're smart. <laughs> you are smart. She said you cannot be that fat and tell me you're not licking. Did you, you see you what she said about the, the, the boy Meek Mill? She Meek Mill can't live, man. Meek oh, is still no. in my DMs. <laughs> Still in there. Oh, leave me Mill alone already. She said he's still Just in the DMs, boy. Damn. Oh. Now, she went at some rappers, boy. Designer, she yeah. said, yeah, shout out for getting out of special school. Oh, God. <laughs> for graduating so special she's school. Proper gunning, man. <laughs> you know who designer is? <laughs> Designer's like the man from Police Academy. Yeah, Police yeah. Academy. <laughs> but she shouted him out for graduating from special <laughs> school. Nah, she went at man. I don't understand why as well. She even cast Drake. She, she said, she, um, she what's his name? What did she say? Um, uh, Fetty Wop's got his one eye on me or something like that. I was like, aha, you even did cussing the same. That's it, what you know his peak at. It was Who's she seeing now then? I don't know. Is she seeing anyone? They, Nas. Said, they said she was seeing Eminem. No, Who's Nas. And then they said she was seeing Eminem. 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 Because her and Eminem were see, seen out and now he's got a verse on the thingy. Wrong. And he says something about, the, 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 the song's called Royalty, I think. And he says something about like the king and the queen. 
I don't know if Eminem's Eminem ready could for, I don't know if Eminem never be a king. I don't know if Eminem's ready for black pussy, you know. Oh, right. it's like the king hasn't it. been getting it all this time. I don't know if he's ready for it though. What does that mean now? Because yeah. the white woman already destroyed him. And I don't want the black queen to build him up, so leave him down there in the car. Wow. She I'm even she even mentions him. She says, You better buy me a Barbie house. I don't want to get banged in a in a trailer in a trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's not she's not she's not ramping. So why is the song called Dream? Because that's the that's the song of Biggie's one. Biggie's one was called Dreams, isn't it? Oh, okay. So it's okay. But, the youngsters, but she, man. even in the chorus, she she dubs him because Biggie said Dreams of effing an R and B woman. <laughs> Why she's, can't you just say the word, man? Bitch. She said fuck? she said Dreams of what was it like sexing a little rapper or, or rapper boy, something like that. It was something to, like even demean the fact that she's doing it. She said she said fifty. She wanted to bang fifty for a good hour. But all he could do was talk about power. power for an hour. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> like you know, fifty's gonna come for it. Get the strap. Okay, oh no, go ahead on fifty, yeah. And then, I know we're gonna be late by the time this comes out. But has everyone seen the video of fifty taking his money back from the stripper? Yes. I found it the most hilarious thing. My miss, my, my missus was telling me off. She's like, uh, uh, what, so wait. When Fifty Cent is doing this now, listen to the voice he's doing it. In. Listen what, to the what voice he's doing now. it. Ah, 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 I didn't do it like that. He even shook his head. He even shook his head. Yes. 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 I said when Fifty Cent was. I mean Fifty Cent. I said when he did it, she was like, "Oh, so wait a minute." He's so doing when, it again. So when Fifty Cent, <laughs> <laughs> I will always do that. That's the worst I do. <laughs> Are you fucking a woman, bro? <laughs> and that's his own woman. <laughs> She said, ow. <laughs> she said, ow. Oh, when 50 Cent is doing the thing now, you, you, you're, 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 you're backing it. But if it was someone else now that they was taking their, their figs, you wouldn't be backing it. And I listened to her and I said, but it was funny. And it was funny. <laughs> that when I saw him taking it, it's not because he took um, the money back. He took all of, all it. of it. He made sure that one dollar was left. And that's what that's I it carried it away. Dollar. And he the way he carried, carried it, it away, I, I, I thought he can't. I thought this book can't be serious. Like, he must have put the money back. But why did he do it though? Because I didn't Apparently watch it enough. Apparently, she wasn't giving him. Uh, she wasn't doing what she was supposed to be doing. She was rude. Oh, see. But, it, but I was saying to my missus, like, it, it's not by force that he has to pay her. She mm. gets paid. It's not by force. No, they do. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point, isn't it? No, you pay your entry fee. You do not have to give them money. Are you sure? Are you sure? You pay your entry. I'm fee. not saying you don't pay your How entry. How do you fee, know? But the, the club has to make his money, yeah. yeah so they, outside of the bar, mm. that entry fee, you told you it's going to the women. I don't think it's going to them. So, but they, you, the, but, so but they're making their money from the money you but, provide but, them. Yeah, that's fine. But I only have to pay entry fee. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is a tip. Yeah, you've been to them strip to be, joints. I tips need to be. Um, been to them strip joints. Yeah, I've had problems with strip joints before. I told you already. What kind of problems? I, because they don't like Problem me. Problem. Because I don't give them no money. Mm, mm, mm. So you don't support the women? No, I think it's the joke thing. Is I'll give somebody else money to give them money, but I personally, I'm not giving them no money. Why? Oh, 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 oh! This is Why? interesting. Why? Why? Because I don't want to. I don't want to dance. You don't? No, but they dance on stage sometimes. I don't watch them when they dance on stage either. All you care about is the private dance. I don't care about the. I don't want. Uh, he, I don't, no, I don't he don't want the private dance. dance. I don't want the private dance either. Dancing I have for money. No, this so what are you in there for? Do what because you people, want all the people me to go to there, do. Oh, so you're going as a group, yeah? Yeah, so, but, they, but one time there was a stripper that actually came to sit down with me and I had a discussion. She's like, oh, no, oh, you don't want to give thing? I said, no, thank you. Did she say, I'm a private No, dancer. she didn't say that. So, but did you know it's from so she got the voice again, and didn't you? Uh, yeah. uh, that's my woman voice. Uh, that's my woman voice. And do it, do, do, do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so she went to me. <laughs> Uh, I said to me, oh, you don't, you don't want to give me no money. I said, I mean, no, you don't want to dance. I said, no, thank you. Uh, I said, Obviously, I'm a polite man. I'm like, no, thank you. And she's like, why, why? And then she started getting aggressive with me. Why? And I'm like, why? I'm like, because I don't want to dance. The views expressed by Wahala are not those of the rest of the. And she goes to me, so in podcast. She goes to me, why not? I said, because I, what's the point of you dancing for me? She goes, well, why are you in the strip? I said, I came for my boys. Because uh, she goes, what do you mean? Why is the point of dancing? I said, all you're gonna do is get man excited, and, and then I'm going home like that. What's the point? At the time, I had no woman. I don't need this. I don't need the stress. <laughs> That's what I'm concerned. There's, there's no point of it. So I don't want it. I'd sit in my corner. I drink my drink. I go about my business, and I go home. If everyone else wants to be there doing strip dance or doing slap dance or whatever dance they do there. Or shaku shaku, whatever they're doing there, that's up to them, isn't it? But yeah, I don't want it. It's, it's true. I do. I do co-sign it. There's three things that would make me enjoy a strip club. One is if I could afford to to spray the women because I don't want to go there and be cheap. Two is if I was single, and three is if I could bang them afterwards because <laughs> because of those and three. For free, I don't even want to pay for the bang. <laughs> oh my okay, god! Yeah, yeah, well, four is is if I'm willing to to go down that route of man was a charity clap soliciting business as well. Yeah, but so, spraying them is part of the payment. 
potentially. So no, I'm so, paying you for your, let, for that service. I'm not paying you for a second service. Yeah, let's say let's say one service. stroke for whatever. I don't know. A but, sucking service? No, I'm not paying. I'm talking about stripping. If, if I pay you for that, I'm paying you for that. If I sleep with you later, that's <laughs> no I'm sucky not, sucky. I'm not. Ex- I'm not involving <laughs> myself. Licky, licky. No, no happy that. ending. I'll be vexed with no, that. Sucky, you know? sucky. No looky looky. I don't wait. What? No, 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 what? No, no. Listen, no, I want to partition there. what I've paid for. I want to know I've you paid. You want to spread cheeks? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know that I've paid for left titty, right titty. The the darts only. So if so if the sex comes after, I want it to be because of the game, not because of the money. All right. Why are you so technical on this, bro? Nah, I'm not paying Who's for my. I'm not paying on, for man? sex. I'm not doing it. That's the question, then. What's that? Paying for sex. Yo, you know our our stands on it already. Us man went to the, the to the belly of where women is. Yeah, the belly we, of the beast. Bro. And, well, we wouldn't I mean, do and it. We didn't pay. Where? But that was the, them times there, though. Still, if we went back as as weaker older men, we might have paid that money. <laughs> weaker older men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me be honest to, to, <clears> the, to the people to the listeners out there. Be, Are you suggesting that we weren't honest just now? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 oh, okay, no, no, go no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, uh, well, let me, let me be ultra honest. I'm gonna say that. Um, so we ain't honest enough for you. Uh, it was. <laughs> but say what you're saying. It was, it was discussed that maybe, uh, you know, maybe is there something missing from our podcast that has that was there before? Is there, is there no, a, the season one? No, you and the season one. I don't know, but all right. And even then, even then, season one, man, even was then, raw. Maybe, maybe there was a spark missing from our podcast. But I would say that. And I, I think it stemmed from when when I listened to the X X X X episode of the Receipts podcast, and I was like, "Have you spoke about that?" Yeah, yeah. last week. Oh, and damn. yeah, and I, I said that in my head, I was thinking, "Us mans would never have that conversation now." And one of the things that just just happened now, this thing about paying for sex, those girls were so honest on that podcast. I said, "Even if us mans would pay for sex, yeah." I'm, so this is the honest part. We wouldn't have told you. We wouldn't have told who. The, the listeners, not right now. If I said, so that is going to make us sound like we've done it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but but said, that's exactly what it sounds like. I said, like, though. even if. So that means we haven't. I haven't. This so, man's. In, oh, if I reckon that if if we had done it, we would say that we've done it. I would. I, if I had done it, I would say that I've done it. I do, yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's no. If I've done it, I would say that I've done it because I would have told my partners or whoever that I've done it. Were you looking at Mister Wolf? For? You would say it, Mister Wolf. Yeah, I would say. Have you have you paid for sex, Mister? Why are you asking me? A <laughs> that you already know the answer, <laughs> problematic. <laughs> oh, you just want me to tell the masses. Listen, 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 hey, no, listen, 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 listen. Tell the truth. Listen, listen. tell the truth. <laughs> if I've done it, I will say that I've done it. I haven't done it, and I would never do I, it. I wasn't you talking about you specifically, but I'm saying that. On a podcast, if we have full squad, and let's say we had extra mans on there, no, extra mans are definitely saying it. Yeah, for real. They're not just saying it. They're giving. They're giving stories. So yeah, yeah. yeah, they're giving you examples. You're, you're they'll tell a, you the prices. Oh, what? What? <laughs> you're well, a blow mead, by well, mead and rock. I'm not. I'm not mentioning names. I'm just saying. Just saying. That man will tell. That man will tell. I don't know where you. You've decided that we're just so not prepared to say anything on this podcast. It's just that we don't. don't tell me what I've decided. For me, as well, like I said, and we're, I'm we're older now. You. So certain things that we may have found. Interesting to talk about in the past, not necessarily as interesting anymore. But I, 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 I'm definitely not paying. I don't, for, going I don't back to that thing, I'm, I'm definitely not paying for sex anyway. I'm not doing I don't it. think it's an interest thing. You know, I just think that it's, uh, um, if if we're being honest, maybe because we're now with partners and things like that. Not yeah, me. Some of not that. me. You some people, of that you you, know, you want to respect your partner. You know, and not, you, I want to open up. I know you used that. But you I'll you, you people know me. I'll talk. I'll talk because my missus can back it. I don't know. I, I I don't know. That's what I think. I think part of the reason is because, uh, well, in season one, if you listen to it, it is raw like receipts podcast last week. You know I, mean? I still think we've had some very raw ones in season two. Mm, but I, th- I think we've been caged a little bit. No, but you have to think about it like this. You, if you said something once, saying the same thing over and over again, it's not interesting. No, so, different different topics. Yeah, so I, on the topic, think, that's what I'm saying. As the topics go now, and as it is now, my 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 answers now might be completely different from the answers then because I'm not the same. I would be happy. I'm not the same and, man I was and before. I think I, I personally think that we should revisit some of the questions that we did in season one. Potentially, maybe at some point, me. if I can remember them. So, what, are you saying the questions in season one were timeless questions? Some of them, yeah. Fair enough. I think the difference Did between you just say very muff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. All right. Yeah, very muff. For those of you, for those of you new listeners, we are. On, do you prefer? Do, do you prefer it to be hairy or do you want it bald? I like it in between. I you know I like a, um, a, a nice fade. 
Yeah, man, the short back and sides thing going on. You know what I mean? I don't want... You want the landing strip? Are we talking about Vagina here? Yeah, yes. we're talking about Vagina. I don't want the flipping forest going on down there. I, you know, I don't want to feel pricks when I'm going in. You get me? I just want to feel or see something that's well-groomed. But you have no issue if it's fully full here? Yeah. If it's fully full... Do you comb yeah. it for her? Nah, man. What if she, she had it coloured and shaped into a heart like uh, Amber Rose did? Yeah, man. That kind Why of not? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something with pink, it, man. Pink just, heart. Do something I don't want dreadlocks it. down there. What's wrong with dreadlocks? Dun, dun. You don't want natty, <laughs> natty, <laughs> natty, natty dread vagina. I'm not saying nothing. Man. Imagine yeah. if you open up the vagina and they said, Modern vampires <laughs> of the city <laughs> wanting blood. Is that what one blood. One, one blood. Yeah. One, oh, yeah. one blood. Yeah. You know. Uh, Oh, you're dumb. Passing and fighting. So yeah. women, women, women. We're the sign. Women. One blow. Bro, oh, blow, man. <laughs> Listen, women, if you know that you're on your reds and you are not ready to do the, the thing when you're on the team. <laughs> just play that And tune. when the man comes in the house, just play that song. Yeah, and then when, and then when, do, do, do. when it's over, when it's over, let's put on one man for my pum pum, yay. <laughs> you know what's wrong <laughs> but, I but, love that song, you know. But to continue what to mean? answer that. I love that song. Sorry, I just want you to understand how much I love that song. <laughs> One man for my pum pum yay. Like that's like a, something that we need to know. Like, <laughs> like it needs to be stated that it's only know. the one man for the pum pum. I don't know that song, but but I don't. I won't. I'm not totally against it being shaven. Um, the preference is for there to be a little bit here. There. If all my ushers shave, shaved, um, would you shave? Me personally, yeah, yours. Nah, man. But she must shave hers. I'm not saying that she must shave hers. You kind of said that you no, would like I it. You have said a, it has a preference. I have a preference. I said that you would like it. That's what I just said. Yeah, but if it's if it's got like if it's big down there, then no. Nah, well, well, you're not shaving it. yours. Fat pum pum. I will do what Fat my woman pum, would pum like pum me to do. So if she asks you to shave it, you'd do it. What bare? Yes. Nah. Okay. What if she just says to just give it a bit of a touch up? What if she says to give it the same hairline as your your head? No. <laughs> No, the yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe I'm being a bit of a hypocrite, you know what I mean? But you know, that's what I like. But I'm not sure if it's the same for me. In fact, I would like women to tell us what they want. Do they? Do do women like men that are shaved down there? I've, I've, I've some never, do. I've never really heard the idea when that they're picking they picking like their teeth. Boy. Some do. Some. Yeah. Some. So I've. I've, I've well, spot. that they that that's what they want, or that they don't mind. Um. They prefer. I've spoken to women that have said they prefer. There's not a women that, that say they wouldn't mind if a man shaved a little bit off. Yeah, they wouldn't mind because yeah. of the teeth in it. Oh, and the yeah. hair. Mm. Fair enough. Just floss with it, isn't it? And, bull, <laughs> and, and bull sacks as well. That's why. Oh, uh, same, same. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing they really want you to kind of. With the tea bagging and thing. Yeah, I've, I don't know if it's the tea bagging, the bag, but they definitely there are women out here that want you to shave. We went from somewhere to there. That's a pay for sex, isn't it? Yeah, we <coughs> just went completely left, boy. That yeah. was my I think because you said the very muff thing, it just came to my brain. But yeah, I ain't but, pay for but, sex, man. I don't care what you... It made me... <laughs> <laughs> you went straight back to that. I ain't doing we that, We have moved on from there anyways. What, none yeah, of us... Right, I was yeah. the only one that answered. Uh, what the pay... No, Simple Simon said, you know my, my views on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, so did I. Everybody answered but me. Would you pay for sex? No. What about if you was old and... You, have you paid for sex? Yeah, no. no game. If you had no and, game, unless you're talking about this, if you pay for dates, you pay for sex. Oh, no, no, no. no. Are, are we saying that? But are we saying that if it was a because uh, this is what I was saying uh, th- today? I was w- watching, um, I was looking at a person and it just looked awkward. And I was thinking to myself, would I be preferred which, if I had to be awkward or ugly? Which one would I choose? Ooh. If I was a woman, definitely awkward. You yeah. prefer to be awkward, definitely. Now, as a, a man, I'm talking about as I a man. Uh, which o- one would you prefer to be awkward no. or ugly? Well, for well, a woman, awkward the, can be awkward? potentially endearing, isn't it? Like this array was all is awkward. There's, I'm talking, there's an element of uh, awkward ingeniousness. No, and I say a bit like you you don't know what your what to say in situations. You oh, personality wise, that's yeah, personality wise, and just your behave is awkward. Oh well, that's me, anyways. I, I don't know, know, if, I don't know if you're well. awkward the way that I'm thinking you're about not awkward. awkward. Yeah, what are you? Thinking? I'm awkward. I'm talking I'm about awkward pop, like ties for I'm example. talking about like proper proper awkward, like when you know. A girl comes up to talk to you and you just have no idea what to say. Listen, how to have say you it. not heard my story when I spoke to Alicia uh, Dixon? No. Yeah. I've told this, you this story before. This was on, years man. ago though. Sub, Subterranea. Go on. West London. Go on. Circa 2002. 
Benny. Before Mystique blew up. Danny. Mm-hmm. But the group was there. Oh, yeah. We knew the manager. Was only alive at this time. Wait. No. Okay, got this. You sure? Maybe. Maybe. So they, they, yeah, because Wild, Wild Up is before, two, before 2000. Ma- yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. But let's say circa 2000 ish. Around them time of science. Yeah. I was in the VIP section in Subterrena. I was upstairs. Now, this Alicia was on the other side and she was talking to somebody that the, her manager. I didn't know who was her manager. Sorry, no, no, no. I was talking to her manager. Mm-hmm. I knew her manager. It's her manager. Obviously, they came together. I didn't know that. So I'm talking to her. And I said, that girl is beautiful. He's like, you think so? I said, yeah, can't you see? She's beautiful. He said, yeah. I said, yeah. You're talking about Alicia Dixon here. Yeah. So he went to, he, he, pulled, he, he said, Alicia. Alicia, <laughs> Stav- Alicia, Alicia Stavros, Stavros, Alicia. I walked off. Oh, wow. And guess what I did? What? You was smiling, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> <laughs> and and this is how and that's this, how MC Harvey no, got this is why <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh no, it's your fault it's your fault it's your fault of course it's your it's your fault MC Harvey got to her problematic you let South London so, take hold, over hold bro. this is why this is and I'll rate her forever because this is what she did this is how now the girls either she's just used to this or she's a legend after me doing that for about 10 seconds 15 <laughs> seconds yeah because I actually didn't say any words like literally it's like from a film she took my hand shook it I said, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you. And then walked away. Yeah. Very polite. Very polite. Not not, not dubbing me. Not just walk off. No laugh. Just it's nice to meet you. And walked away. And that was me. And then I, I, when I went to this dude, I'm like, bro, you could have warned me. Or not. Like, this is when I was, um, yeah, this is before my, before my woman, actually. So yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was 19, 20. I had no game. I had no game until I was maybe in my 30s. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. So I had, anyway, but at that point I had, no game. I could not talk to a woman. Um, I was chronically fit. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, chat women. I've only ever chatted up three women in my life, or four, and three of the wow. men ended up being my girlfriend. Listen, wow. so you, you I, should I, never I, gave I you two meets in the house, man. You should have never got two meets until you, you respected yourself after that. <laughs> I should have never got what two meets. In the house, <laughs> Maybe like that. If, if I told that, you would never got two meets in the this, house. Because I still think to this day, Alicia Dixon is dropped. Dead, gorgeous. Well, no, but I'm, no, but I'm sorry. I could, I could, nev- I could never have actually she's like, she's been like, she's in a relationship. She's a UK with her. Ciara, I say. She's, she's better looking than Ciara, man. Don't even come. No, 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 no. no. She's look, literally same, got man. no bottom at all, you know. Yeah. I, 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 I don't even look She's like mad like Nigerian, so still. Concave. Jamelia, on the other hand, I could, I could, I could deal with. Uh, I, had I, I would overcome the accent. Jamelia. You have. Bro, I had an accent look like gorgeous, bro. No, I don't talk to her about Jamelia. And she's natural now as well. Don't talk about her, Jamelia. Why? What's she done? It makes me delicate, bro. I yeah. think you're alright still. What do you mean she's alright still? What's that, that like a boy video. Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's you know she's just got this thing about her. The natural hair. I love men. Love Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. I don't know. Jamie's hot. Me. She's hot potato. She's, she's yeah, right because here. she's light skin, isn't it? That's why she's not light skin. She's not light skin. I'm I'm making a point. Oh, okay. Uh, Alicia, Dick, Alicia Dixon is though. Yeah. And she is absolutely. Both cool. of them are gorgeous. I've seen, that's that, but that's my I, point. I They're both a, just gorgeous. I had an ex that looked like Alicia Dixon. Yeah, so let me know more about this ex. You you know the ex. You know the ex. Did she look like Alicia yes, Dixon? Yes. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, she did. I never, I never saw your women that much. I never I never paid no mind to you. Yeah, I, I knew what I was doing. I kept her away from you. <laughs> <laughs> After what you just told me just now. So I'm a scoundrel, am I? Problematic. Would you ever keep your woman away from. One of your boys, if you thought he might be able to to snatch her, no, because if he can snatch her, then he's not my boy and she's not my girl, really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So that, that, that is what it is. But um, hundred percent. Right. I don't know, man. I don't know. This this thing about, I think I've, I think I've had that situation before where I've been in front of a girl and I've just not known what to say. Go on. But um, I just I don't I just I I've always had that situation where I'm not necessarily well. I know I can speak to them, but it doesn't get anywhere past getting to the getting to them. When I was younger, anyway. Now I know obviously my superpowers. Then I had no powers. Clark Kent. All what the is way, your superpower? Bro. My superpower. Why? 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 Oh, I'm, I'm engaged anyway. I can say what. Well, exactly. Is. So my superpower is I tend to be able to joke my way into your into a situation in your life. He was gonna say pants. Why don't you just say the thing, bro? You get me? Why don't you just say the thing, man? I saw his eyes as well. Like, your humor <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, let's put that in inverted commas. Got you pussy. Yeah, no, whoa, not necessarily though. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. No, no, it's not I, just I wouldn't say it actually got him. humor and and charisma. Did that also and my presence? 
I got a presence okay. about me. So, oh, I thought you said you buy presents. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but, yeah, but that's, yeah, but that's charisma, man. It's the same thing. It is. It is. You and know? obviously, I'm a filth. So that, that also helps as well. <laughs> but, um, shout out to filth, slack for life. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah. So at them times, I didn't know much. I didn't know. This, this girl's now that when I looked tunnel vision, blatantly liked me, and I had no idea. If I had game, I could have banged Alicia Dixon. <laughs> I'm bothering myself now. No, no, no. Of course, man. Let me show you would have liked you still, though. That's that's, that's the point. That's that as well. People with games, they get they get stuff. Yeah, that's true. They get stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in front of Alicia Dixon today, and me as a single man. Uh, what was you? That, I'm banging, man. Are you telling me? Like, telling me nothing. With that, whoa, 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 are you mad? Whoa, whoa, whoa. With that stomach, I don't know. Really mad. I don't like the way you've just gone straight to the fact that you're banging. That's problematic. It is what it is. But um, man said it is what it is. I'm getting a date. <laughs> I think in the end, I don't know, man. I just got tunnel vision and back. And I was to myself, there's girls there that I've seen, and I've just, I've just ignored the fact that they are blatantly on it because I was just not in that state of mind of knowing. My 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 radar was not on that flex. Mm. I just didn't know that I was doing things that I was meant to be doing. It's just madness. Even yeah, my first because, girlfriend, because I had to almost, almost had to make it. She had to like write it down and everything for me to understand that she even liked me. Yeah, because like, well, you're walking what? around, you're walking around with a screw face, and you don't like people. Before, that, before I ask the two sweet boys here, because I'm sure they're gonna have different <laughs> stories than us. I will give one last story. Now we for events the same way I'm talking about this park thing. We, we back in the day we used to do this often. We got cinemas, we got restaurants, blah blah blah. And I remember one time and a girl that I think was gorgeous and. She came and she came. And one time we happened to talk on the phone. And I didn't talk to this person really outside of when she came to the events. So we're on the phone for some reason. I don't know why. Probably about the event. And then she's like, why do you think I come to these things? I said, because you want to link up in it. Same as everybody else. You want to have fun, whatever. She like, but I come for you. I said, like, eh? She like, do you, do you think... <laughs> you you, you touched your chest at that do time, you f- it, it oh. may, it, No, because... <laughs> it, I, she said, what do you... Like... What do you think I'm coming for? I come for you. Do you think I care about going to the cinema? I come because I want to be around you. Like, God, dear. Anyway, we went on, we, we, we went on the day after that. Yeah. A couple of days. In fact, she actually bought a friend and I paid for a friend's dinner. Sh- should I get cast for that? Oh, Why? Yeah. Hold on. <coughs> because because, when, because, because you, that's something to get cast for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you were, you we were, planned we were, to we go were, on a date with her and she bought her friend? Her bedroom came. We were in Covent Garden. We were in eating and then the bedroom came like partially way through the thing and I thought it was, so just by, I thought it to come and join us just he by, oh, did just yeah, by chance you, you told her to come and join didn't you? so if you're asking her to come and join that's an invite I yeah. believe so, I believe so, yeah. so it's it's just by chance he did the uncle thing but well maybe oh, no, come, on, come maybe, and bring your friends don't she, worry yeah, I, bring I, them. I, I can't remember them. this is many years ago this is like 10 years ago now but I don't know, hey, if, I it, I don't know if it was like uh, my friend is in the area Six. can she come or my friend's coming I can't remember exactly what it was but at the end of the day she she came Wait, I wait, I come and serve my friend. Yeah, because there was, she, there was, a, there was a big uproar on Twitter ain't it, about men's paying paying for their girls' drinks or whatever, some foolishness like that. I just, I'm not thinking when I've seen Too people do that. I'm thinking that that, this can't be Nigerians are saying this rubbish because Nigerians just pay. Or oh, the I new age. I even the new age ones are lying if they're just saying they're not paying. No, them. no, I've heard some new age ones talking. They pay, man. They're just chatting rubbish all the time. But we're paying line. for dinners as well. The dinners? No, they're talking. No, they're talking about drinks. Like if your girl's there and your girl says, you know, you're there. So basically, they're saying that um. You go out and your girl's there and she's there with her brethren, yeah? How many? Let's say two or three. Let's say three. Three brethren are there right. and you don't pay for the brethren's drinks at the time, yeah? Mm. That the girl's saying, you're, you've disgraced me, basically. Why are you not paying for my friend's drinks when they're there? Mm. And I just think to myself, and the man's are like, well, why should the man pay for your drinks? Well, I could get why they can be upset because she's, she's ex- expecting them to pay for the drinks. Yeah, Fair she's enough. disgraced. That's That's but... But man, I got to say they won't pay for their girls' friends' drinks. Why won't you pay for their girls' drinks? No, but drinks? but at the end of the day, as much as I would pay for the drinks, the, the, the woman is I mean, my my wife cannot tell me why didn't you pay for my my, my bedroom? Yeah, drinks. I wouldn't expect she you to could, could not tell me that. that. She could not tell me that. Mm, I wouldn't so, open. So so so, so, so in that case, the man has every every leg to stand on. You can't come back at the home and yeah, say, but there was man that was like, I won't pay for my. I'm thinking, why would you why would you pay, man? This is the bitchness I'm talking about that you see online now. Because maybe if they were in a situation. And it, they they had the money out, and it's, they might have paid for it. But because somebody's coming at them on social media, all of a sudden they shift the focus so much to they change it from "Well, I would have paid if the situation was correct and exactly this happened." To "Why am I paying for, a, Bruh, for girls' drinks?" I pay for girls' drinks because they're taking too long in the line. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, but not, okay. All right. Uh, uh, look, I've, I've been for girls' I've drinks been, and told them later. I've been there with, when all of these things have been happening. But one of the things that's different now is 
the price of drinks now. Price of drinks now in is, certain clubs. It's not relative I don't, anymore. I don't care. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal now. Well, for you, I, one, I, 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 one, one drink is ten pound. Ten pound a pop for one drink. Yeah, what's the problem? Okay, something happened the other day. I'm not, I'm not paying for it. And <laughs> you, you let me know if if I was wrong because I don't think any of you know the situation. So somebody came to the to the park, and it's the first time I'm meeting their their partner. It was a woman, and it's the first, I'm, so on Saturday. I, I know, yeah. I, so we all know the woman, and it's the first time I'm meeting her partner. Uh-huh. And I and because I, I I've got some genuine love for this this woman, yeah. I said I want to know I want to meet her partner and, and get to know him a bit better. Um, I don't know if that sounds. Uh, well, he's always scrunching up his face. It always puts me off. I, just, I shouldn't really sit across from you. Always put me. But anyways, so we're going to to an event um, on the 18th. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's what I'll, that'll be my stuff process this week. And like uh, I said, oh, yeah, I want you to come, bro. And I said, leave the woman at home. Yeah, you come out with the boys in it, and we and we'll, we'll socialize. And she, she's jumping in. No, he's not coming out. He's not coming out. You guys, I'm not leaving. I told her, listen, leave the woman at home. Come out. And I said, I'll even pay for your ticket. And a couple of the girls there, this is ESN girls, yeah, uh, ladies from the group. They were like, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just offer to pay for a man's ticket. And I was like, it's not that deep, man. There's nothing wrong with what I said. But I, I, I apologize. I said, I don't mean any offense by saying I'll pay for your ticket. I'm not saying you can't pay for it. Whatever. I'm just saying that because I'm in, in, inviting you out, basically. I say... You know, and you don't know me. It's the first time you met me. I'll just pay, I'll pay for the ticket. And he said, oh, "No, no offense taken. I didn't take. I didn't mean it like that at all. But because of the conversations we've had on the group, yeah, which I will allow you man to talk about, yeah, they they jumped up and said, you can't just offer to pay for a man's ticket, yeah. And uh, but he had he had no problems with it. But so one, it was there an issue with me offering to pay for the man's ticket. And this is a fifty pound ticket, by the way. And uh, two, uh, bring up the situation that it stemmed from in the first place. So I I'm not 100% sure which one it is. There's times when, what, when man's pay for your... T- so, in fact, the gathering point actually... This was, again, to the gathering point, because they actually asked the same question on Twitter today about... Um, it was is diff- it okay, is it something about you and your uh, you and your man... Okay. No, you, your man, you and your man go out with uh, your no, friend no, and her man. No, no, no. You and your girl go out with your girl's friend and her man. You don't know the man. You know your girl. And you, you and your missus go out on a double date with your you and your so missus. What's the difference with what I just said? I said you, you and your said, girl go out, you both, and her friend. You both said the same. Yeah, thing. and her friend goes out with her man. That's what, what's the difference? I think you said your friend. No, no, I said no, her no, friend. No, my mistake. Goes out with her man, and then they all go eat dinner, and then the man just tries to pay for the dinner. They didn't write like that. Why do you always make things sound worse than they are? But that's what it was. He said he offers to pay. What do you do? What's the difference with what I just said? Man, I'm trying to pay for the dinner. Is that what is the difference? To pay and I'm trying to pay. Is he wants to pay for the dinner. It just sounds like it has a different twinge to it. Oh, it? so but when you write your what you're writing, it's fine, yeah? <laughs> oh. Yes, what I'm writing is fine because I would have put Come it in the correct twinge. Friend. And you would have taken it. Well, no. well, this is my point. They didn't write like that and that's how you said it. And that's how people would hear my stuff. That's because that, I would that, say that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't write it. It's that's the what she, that's what they wrote that it's the same thing but anyways but anyway the situation that happened in ESN this is the ESN group that we had on Facebook many years ago rest in peace it was uh, a situation where some guys and some ladies went out to a uh, cinema I wasn't there but during the, oh. in, 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 in the bar yeah. bar stroke restaurant bar. let me finish none of us man was there yeah let me, f- let me finish I don't want to be put involved with these man okay, so you said okay. you were there I want to be no I well hello no okay okay, okay, okay. no okay, way okay 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 so, so do, do, OG, do, yeah? do you guys know the story? Nope. Go right. ahead. I'm gone. All right. So they were in like the bar section of, of the, the cinema or something, or they'd gone somewhere else for drinks. I think they'd gone somewhere else for drinks after. Anyways, if, let's imagine there was about nine or 10 of them. They had off their own back, gone and linked up at ESN, like link up team. So let's mm. say there's about 10 of them, maybe about three women, a three men and about seven or eight girls. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Somehow, some next person gets involved into the, the, the circle, another man. In the white circle. All right. And then when it comes for the dinner or something, no, nah, it was they bought drinks. It was drinks. They were all right. So fine, they were buying drinks, and they bought and they offered to buy drinks for the man as well, or something like that. Bro, you're not you're not say the story, the story, then, say the story. Well, say you the don't story. have to say stories, and you're telling me uh, because I, I, I remember I came late to the to the page on this, this and the man's were getting rinsed. This is what happened, basically. <laughs> I came late. So you us man, let's say let's just use us man. So we all go out with girls, yeah. All of us go out with a group of girls. Us man, you know, we're holding it down. We got the girls with us, you know, we're doing our thing in it. We go out. We actually went to the cinema. We went to a bar after. We're chilling out with the girls. There are girls as far as we're concerned because we, you know, we we brought them with us. And then some brother comes in. Let's say man, like how many girls? Like Don't matter. Let's say about six, seven. Girls. So there's more girls. Than e- man. Enough, yeah. So then let's say that man, like Swift, comes in because this is the type of thing that Swift could probably do. To be honest, comes in and this, 
don't know him, don't know him from, from Adam, just starts chatting to you lot because obviously you've got girls with you. And um, yeah, 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 he starts chatting to all your girls and then you guys are kind of like on the corner now because they're chatting to your girls or whatnot because that's what kind of was happening. And then he, he just buys, he buys everyone drinks, yeah? He buys the girls drinks. Then he starts buying you man drinks. It's the kind of thing that Topsy Riches would do, actually. Just come in and say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. Get drinks for everybody. Topsy's not buying the man's drinks. No way. Probably. Not, not man's he don't know. Not the man's them. Not the man's he don't know. He bought, so he bought drinks, yeah? So it was like, oh. so we was already laughing at the man's because the man had already come and collected your, the girls that he was with. But then not only did he collect the girls he was with, he gave you a lot of tip by buying you a drink as well. <laughs> and that was it. They all got rinsed. No man could come and... Well, they got rinsed by the girls that they were with. They were taking the drink, bruv. They were drinking the champagne from the from the glasses oh, that the yeah, man yeah, would have provided. Yeah, you know what made it worse? Because a I couple see. of the men's would, would laugh. And most of the men's laughing would have actually done it themselves anyway, so they can chat about this. But it was the girls. That was... The ripped. girls that were with Can you imagine? Them. The girls that you're actually with, that's telling the story, is dubbing you for letting another man buy, buy me drinks when you're sitting right next to No, not buy me. Buy me and you. Girls. So this guy, they got, it. they got it. This guy is not known to the group. No one knew him. He came from nowhere. No, oh, boy, <clears throat> just came in and sabotaged the situation. Well, I don't know. Boy, I don't know, man. But would you let an next man buy you dinner still? Dinner. Yeah, if you went out with your woman, and you know you're all eating, and then you, you don't know what a double date. Adam. Yeah, a double date, and he no. just says, "I'm just gonna buy the food." No, 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 no. Why not? I'm not letting a man buy my woman dinner. But you let him buy you dinner, yeah? No, nah, no. Nah. I'll make sure I service my woman properly. I'll pay for my woman's uh, dinner and I'll pay for my own. Hello, where did servicing the woman come into this? <laughs> Man, just threw that in there. I'll make sure I service my woman properly. It's a service part yeah. of it. It's part of a service. It's all part of a service. Well, it? it's, it's, you know, nah, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. Well, if it's one of us, man. If 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 he's if it's one of you, man, then if it's part of my circle, I don't think I'll have much of a problem. But if if I'm going on a double date and I don't know the other guy, I know the girl a little bit because she's my girl's friend, and he wants to buy us all the dinner. I say, no, nah, man, cool. Let's, you know, I'll sort my bit out and you sort your. What if he's out. rich? Makes no difference. Okay. Makes no difference. Man. I, I said the same as you. I probably wouldn't. I'm not going to mm. say 100 percent wouldn't. But probably wouldn't. It's ninety nine. It's ninety five percent. I wouldn't. And if it was the boys, then then it would be a discussion there and then. It wouldn't necessarily be no or a yes. So what is it in us that makes us feel the problematic about this situation? The A, the L, the P, the H, the A, the R, F, M, L, S, L. Potentially, I don't know. Well, alpha male. You know, I've got a really. You know me. I've got a massive problem with taking things from people more than probably. Yeah, but do you know what that re- what the reason for that is? Yeah, I just don't like... I don't like feeling like I owe anyone anything. Why do you feel like you would owe somebody something? Because that's how I feel. That's how I think. So when somebody does... Uh, when you do something for somebody, they owe, they owe you? Yeah, so you Not don't... Not necessarily. You, I just don't... I, I don't, I don't, I don't that was where was your, your price? price? I just don't... I just don't trust other people not to think like that. So basically what you're saying is you don't do things for doing them sake. You do them to get something back. No. I said I don't think other people do things for no reason. Yeah, but then <laughs> your your basis on that is on what? I just from what I've seen in the past, people don't do tend to do things for no reason. So you don't think people are just genuine, genuinely nice people? No, no, no. Wow. So, no, so not, how, about, there are, there are people, how about your circle then? No, I, I think there's still something out in you, especially you, man. Even worse than everyone else. <laughs> Get out. Ask too, man what? That, that will, if you're paying for me, there's a reason why you're doing it. Why? Because you wanna you wanna have that alpha on me. He's such a he's, he's a bastard, isn't he? Man. Yeah. There was a time yeah, I wanted man. to pay her recently, and he switched at me for something. Don't ever want you. I never want you to pay. I for remember me. what it was. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Before no, no, no. Yeah, my yeah. Mind, it was my it was my it was, a, it was well. my engagement. That I think that was the one that you something wanted to happened no, to me. You have done the same thing to me. Exactly. Man's thinking about stuff, and I'm not even thinking about it. I was I was offering to pay for something. Let me let me give you the example. The example the example that he's bringing up. On his, he proposed to his missus on his birthday, and we just so happened that we were going out for dinner on that we're birthday as as a yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. As, yeah, a, yeah. as a as a as a family. Uh, it wasn't or, just so uh, happens. I planned it all. No, but the point is that not only were you um, celebrating an engagement, you were celebrating your birthday, and even then you won't allow your brother, your brother, <laughs> to pay for the bill. No, Come no. on now, is that not that? And all of a sudden, don't you look at that and think no. maybe there's some sort of insecurity thing there? No. I'll be honest with if you. You didn't want to pay for. I, it wasn't a case that you were just paying for me. So, in fact, go I will say I'll be honest with you. 
the fact that you're so hell bent on it kind of makes me feel like um it's working against this alpha thing that he's been talking about. Who's hell bent? Hell, hell bent. His 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 your your view on on this not wanting someone to pay for you. I, I so would agree. I think it happened on his birthday as well. I, I I'm not sure if it was the same one if I was there. But offered to pay for your dinner or pay for Saturn relating to you. You yeah. said no. I don't want none of you people yeah, but to pay it, for yeah, nothing. But it's a your, strong, yeah, but secure I, man. I understand. I, I understand that. But it was my birthday recently. Um, I had a dinner, and I think my cousin paid paid for my dinner. Yeah, but you're happy for that. that. I'm like, yeah, no, no, okay, no, okay. I don't care. Wait, okay, it's not. Fine. It's it's Whether not so or you much. Care or don't it's, care. Yeah, I it's care. not that I'm happy that oh, I hope somebody pays for my dinner. I was prepared <laughs> to pay for my own thing in it. But it's your birthday, isn't it? It's my birthday. Nah, I'm all right, right, man. On, on my birthday in Brazil, on our stag, we went to a meat meat restaurant where we got that famous picture of Wahala looking at the meat. <laughs> and oh, that picture you, used to go viral. And it was it was a, it was quite an expensive uh, restaurant for 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 Brazil and for what it was. And you man, everybody chipped in and paid for my my, my restaurant. I mean, my my dinner. For, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't yeah. none, ain't none. I don't, I don't want it. I do you know what we should all do? We should all go out. And make sure that he doesn't pay for his dinner. This is then, we- then the dinner will be ruined. This is what's weird, though. I, I wouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah. Well, so this, this, leave the man to pay for his dinner. This, 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 this is what's weird. He won't let somebody pay for like anything, but then if one of us man won the lottery, he would expect that he would get some. Yes. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. That's my portion, though, isn't it? <laughs> That's my portion. <laughs> <push, man. laughs> Yeah, so you want some of that money? No, yeah? I don't say everyone even. I say staff needs to give me money. The rest of you, if you don't give me money, I'll I'll hold you in contempt. But 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 I would I wouldn't feel like it's a, a must. But okay, okay, old okay, brother okay. must give so, me so, money. So 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 if if uh if one of us won the lottery or something, I say you know what, listen, I'll pay for your mortgage. I don't know if I like you. <laughs> see, see now, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Can you see the difference here? I see, I see. He wants the money yeah, yeah. so he can pay for it himself. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah. So he can fool himself you... into believing that he paid <laughs> you know, for it. You haven't given you have give me the money. No, 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 no. You, no. you know what? I'm paying for your mortgage. It no. Can, yeah. it can, I've, I've, fool me, I've, I've been giving me the money for me to do what I want with it. I don't like the way that you're allocating what you're going to do for the money you're giving me. He can fool himself into thinking that he's paying for it. Okay, I'll give you 10 grand and I'm paying for your mortgage. I don't know if I still... I'll take it. Because I'm a fool if I don't. I can't go home to my wife telling you tell that something. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not your home anymore. It's Mr. Wilson. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, go around telling everybody that he paid for my yard. That's my yard. Bro. Brother, I'm Let's come in the house. Open bro. your kitchen. Open your kitchen. Go for the biggest meat in the pot and sit down and eat like he's allowed to. Bro, just, nah, brother, I'm, 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 I'm coming over. I'm coming over. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. No, no, no. Press the doorbell. I paid for this. What do you mean you're busy? You're busy. Are you busy, at home? Yeah. In fact, give me the key. Give me the key. What but is it's, he, I think Ty said it. He did, remember Ty was here, he was saying the same thing, that it's a problem that I need to deal with. And I, it's very hard for me to deal with it. Even the other day, I went out with um my uh, fiance's uh, and her family and his, um, her brother took us all out to um, a meal. And he paid for the meal. And Okay. But then I had ready... I, the, the only way that I could balance it in my head is that I, I paid for the cinema. And he wanted to give me the money for the cinema as well. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll be all right with the cinema. That's the only way in my head. How did you Can we establish my brother won't let me pay for his meal, but he let his brother-in-law pay for his meal? No, if you if you came out, if we came, if we went out for something. Thank you, thank you. If you went out for something. Thank no, you, Wahala. Well, because this is the point. Yeah, this, this, I know you love me. I know you love me. Here's the difference, yeah. In the end, Bitch you. he went out and he told, is what he, he came, he said that he basically wanted to pay for the thing. I can't now just say to, if you said to me, uh, Wahala, we're going to dinner and I'm going to do dinner with the f- our f- my family. So you're going with your wife, your kids, and you want to take all of us out to dinner and I'm going to pay for the dinner. I uh-huh. don't have a problem with that. No, you wouldn't go. No, I would go to the dinner. But you... what I wouldn't do is when we get there, you just say, I'm paying for everyone. No, I'm not doing that. So you have to, we have to give me a warning. You have to let me assess myself. Let me know that warning. I'm going into that situation. I need to be built into knowing that that's what's going to happen. How did you feel when you were just sitting there and the check came out? They just paid. No, because it's all right. It's not, it's not a problem. He's, he's, he's like well, he's, uh, he's my older isn't it? it's somebody that's older oh, he's, he? el- he's older than you yeah he's older than him as well so, so uh, what if it was one of the younger ones no no <laughs> not pay for me <laughs> like if my sister says she wants to pay for my dinner I might be more acceptable to, for my sister paying for me than stuff. see why and, and my brother-in-law because they're older okay I know Steph's older than me but I don't see him as that much older than oh, me okay, that he okay, should be okay, he should okay. be doing what's, what's the difference with you three, 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 years. three to four years yeah, yeah. alright cool so I, I don't know but um, yeah, it's it's a problem that I've got, and a problem that obviously I need to deal with. 
But I don't know why you. I don't think I'm the only person because I don't see you man letting people go around paying for you all over the gap. Who's offering to pay for everybody's meal though? Bro, I ain't you go you board, obviously man. in it. You get me? Yeah, but and the reason why I was annoyed at the, at the, at the engagement you, is because there was other people there that might not have liked that. Is that and, and you didn't give them the is option. That, is that time when you and Swift were trying to pay for it? Yeah, yeah. me you, and Swift. You said, didn't give them the option. Me and Swift said. Me and them no the man came with the bill. It came to our part. I was sitting on maybe a couple of seats from Swift. I, Swift said, I'll pay. I said, I'll pay. And then we were going back as a fool. He said, just go out. So I said, yeah. And that was it. Nah. And, then, and then he just. No, <laughs> 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 yeah. No, so because I said, look, there's other people there. There was her family there. You didn't ask. You didn't go on and query, query the her family to see whether or not they was it, ha- were happy with that. Happy, you, you happy with what? With the, him just paying for everyone's meal. You, as far as I'm concerned, I don't, don't see. Don't it, care, I, I don't yeah, see you don't it. see that. But as far, so if it was me now, I would feel disrespected. Because if somebody else was there, we just sat down and said that you would feel disrespected if somebody went to a dinner and paid for your meal. If and you, you, and you don't like know it. them, no, no yeah, offense. but he they don't know them. No offense, but they don't know them. You're kind of foolish, don't it? So uh, they're, they're, yeah, but they don't I, know them. They don't know you. So then, in the end, what? what be my yeah, but they We're don't know you. It's a celebration, no, but, bitches. It, but they don't know you. Are you so and Swift, as far as I'm concerned, you, they didn't know Swift. No, they didn't yeah. know him. <laughs> Did I mean who? Have I not met them before? No, I don't think I'd even met them before that, really. So as far as I'm concerned. You have to take the time out to ask these questions. You have to see how, if, whether or not they're I'll, happy with that. I'll be honest with you, though. Like, you go out to dinner with a family of Nigerians. They're quite happy for you to pay That's for That's what them. I'm thinking, bro. No, don't, don't think like that. Because not everyone is them, like that. Bro, most of them accept No, but you, you, don't, you don't decide that for people. I would almost put my life on the fact that most people other than you will be happy I, with I, And I can guarantee you that at that situation, the person that I'm referring to would not have necessarily been happy with that. Are they like you? Not necessarily like me, but if they don't know you, or they don't want, or, or, or they're not in that particular space with you, they wouldn't be quite happy with you going around and pay for them. I think, but, it's, but I think, think it's an interesting observation. So I, I don't think, think you should just make I a think, decision for I somebody. Think asking asking a question, I think maybe puts them in an even more uncomfortable. No, position. it's not. It's not an uncomfortable. Are, are position. you okay with me doing this? And then they, if they say yes, then they, it seems like they're begging. How are you? Then, how are you begging then, when you then, come to ask the person well, whether or not they can? They pay. may feel inferior, bruv. Like, nah, I you don't. Know. I don't see it as that. But, you, it's, hey. I think it's a respect thing, and especially then, especially the person's older than you as well. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, man, I think that age for me makes a big difference. Buy me dinner next time, bruv. I'm not buying you shit. Come on. They say you love you, but the outside. Yeah, you get me. I'm your elder, innit? Look at this foot. Oh, what a shame. What's next, bro? All right. What are you working with? Um, I could have called him a fart as well. You called him a fart? Fart. What's a fart? Them hoes over there. Leo oh. Cohen. <laughs> Leo Cohen. Who? And Dame Leo. Dash. He was the head of um, Def, Def Jam. Jam. And now he's the head of a company called 300, I believe. Yeah, and, and he's the CEO of the music section of YouTube. All right. Apple, was it? The new team. No, oh, YouTube. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new That's team. That's W. So, um, <laughs> Dame Dash, Precise. He, he had an interview on the, the Breakfast Club last week. And, um, he's been Leo on there Combs quite had a few times. Had, had, had Sorry? Had interview, he's been on there quite a few times. No, 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 no. no, no, no Leo no, no. Cohen's had an interview last week. You, Dame, you, Dame you, Dash. You, you made it sound like Dame Dash had an interview. Sorry, Leo Cohen had an interview on the, on yeah. the Breakfast Club last week. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of interviews actually, or not not too many. No, well, recently he's come out of, out of a bit uh, more. But back in the day, he was, oh, drink he, chapter, I liked he, he was he was an exec. He, he stayed in the background. Back in the days when execs, you know, well, unless you were puffy, all up in the videos. videos. Yeah. Back in the days when execs were execs. But so, um, Dame Dash has always accused Leo. Well, not always, but since they had a split, I, I can't be bothered to go into the history of it. Of it all, but he called him a culture vulture, and a culture vulture is what do we say? When a person that's not of culture steals another person's culture for their advantage and does not give back to it. All right. Now, I'll pay homage. On the Joe Biden podcast, Joey, they discussed this culture vulture thing, Leo Cohen situation, and they called up Dame Dash and actually asked him, What is your problem with Leo explaining the culture vulture? I, I want to actually play the clip, but it's, it's probably too long. But he he lays it down. He gives it in such a um to explain it. Eloquent way. In a very eloquent way. I, I can't I can't give it justice either. But I, 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 I you can't you can't not this not explain it, so you've got to explain what he's saying. He says well he says what you basically said. A culture vulture is somebody that um takes from the culture, is not part of the culture, and doesn't give back anything to the culture, in essence. No, so the so cult- I'm, I'm not I, appropriation, I, same thing. Kind of thing, yeah. I am not I am not one of you, but I'm coming into you taking away from you and not giving you anything in return. That's a culture vulture. He believes that's what Leo Cohen is. And people ask him, well, he's done so much for hip-hop, you know, in, in general. He's, but he's like, he doesn't put anything 
back in, that doesn't benefit him. It's not he's doing stuff, but it's all for himself really. Yeah. So maybe I can say to Simple Simon, let's go into business and do such and such, mm. and you make ten and I make ten. Mm. But if it if it was only gonna benefit you, I wouldn't do nothing. It's only I'm only doing it to benefit me. I'm only doing it for my ten. I'm not yeah. doing it for your ten. Yeah. So, but he he breaks it down. He 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 spits he spits flames. We've been asked to discuss that actual interlude from that the, the Joe Biden podcast. I might even have to just play the thing actually. I haven't heard the interlude. How long is it? It'd probably be about two or three minutes. Mm. Play um, a little bit. Uh, all right. I don't know how I would have edited this, but um, we are here, and I am going to. Play the clip from the podcast. Hopefully, it's not too long, and you guys can hear it. I'll stop it if it get, if it runs too long. But here we go. <laughs> Dame, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How are you, sir? Joe, what's good, Joe? Dame, I I just need clarity from you. Right. What exactly is a culture vulture, and why is Leo a one? <laughs> Clear my throat on that one. Uh, pause. A uh, culture vulture is someone that exploits the culture that he's not a part of, doesn't benefit the culture, and takes care of his culture and has no respect for the culture he's exploiting. And that's exactly why Lior is one, because he's been making money off of our culture. He is not part of it, and he's been exploiting it, never helping, teaching, or anything, doing what's in the best interest of his pocket over the culture and to add insult to injury, he is not accepted in his own culture. He cannot get no money in his own culture. So he comes to ours, acts like a big cat, pretends we need him when we don't. And then if and if someone even asks him a question, he asks in tight, he acts entitled like he did on our platform. And then he pretends he owns something that he doesn't. Dame. And disrespect and try to erase, which they always do. Okay, hold on, baby. Hold this, hold the dog. And and they always try to erase our history and act like the people that were really fighting for us never existed. And I think he flagrantly displayed that in public just because he's so used to it. So that he's a perfect example. As a matter of fact, I coined the term because of him. And he's also made it, culture vultures also make it where a lot of history doesn't get made just because it's for their own personal benefit. So there's Dame, a lot of do you think that, that Leo? Do you think that Leo Cohen has not contributed to hip hop at all? What I think he's done is exploited it, and I don't think he's of it, and that's all I'm addressing. I don't care what he's done for it. Yeah, that's but when question. you say he's not it, of I, it, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it discredits anything he's done. But uh, just because someone's done good for hip hop, if he's a child molester, he's still a child molester. So all the good doesn't all the, all the molesting negates every bit of good that you do. If you hurt the people, especially my people. And then you make it where, let me ask you a question. Don't you think it's a little foul that Todd Moskowitz and J.O.E., Joey, and, and Julie Cole have, have, have jobs over, got girls like Sh- Shari, Brian, all the black girls in the industry have to work for all of these white people that don't know nothing about music? That's what he's done. Um, he's, 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 he's killed our nepotism. He's- that is the bar of the year. He's killed our nepotism. Okay. God damn, what is it? I love that. I love that bar. To my heart. Can you define that, please? Uh, okay, Simon. so... <laughs> <laughs> Nepotism is the act of giving favor because somebody is related to you or is considered to be a friend. God damn. So what you're saying is that... the dictionary, man. When he, <laughs> There's no Google up in there. He's just right at the top of the... When top. he puts his people in positions of power in our industry, so forget now me, I'm I'm in power, but the people under me that are going to be over you are my people still as well. So they're my Jewish uh, bedrooms in, on top of the people that actually know and are of the culture. They can't pass, they can't pass it down to their children. Shout out Reggie Yates. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that. So um, that's, that's, that's what you said. That's what that line means. But it's, 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 it's so poetic. It's a Jay-Z line. The thing, the thing about it. So what's the question? We, 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 we were asking. Ask, we somebody put flames on it, yeah. And Mo from Collider the Box said we we must discuss this, and because we are, we are respecting our black women, we are going to. The, the, really thing, the thing about it. this situation is this, yeah. And Joe Biden kind of alluded to it as well. It's hard to say that he's a culture vulture when he was there so early on in the culture. They don't mean nothing because he was. He Tim, used to Tim be Westwood. The, Tim he, Westwood's been early in in in. in all yeah, this I don't wouldn't necessarily say that. Tim Westwood uh, the, on hip hop is the culture vulture. I'll say this grime and all this other stuff that's come after. I'll say he's the culture vulture. Hip hop, I'm maybe he's not a so much. Vulture, but um, hundred percent. 
Le- Le- Westwood, Le- loved, Westwood loved hip hop. Yeah, but I believe he's using grind people yeah, to yeah, stay relevant. Yeah. Leo Cones was there as the road manager for Run DMC. That's how far Leo Cones goes back. Yeah, that's how far he goes back. It's not like he came two days ago and he's now running everything. It's not like a case of um, he, uh, whether or not he was actually into hip hop beforehand. I don't know. I know that he said that he saw a, a show or something and um, that's what got him into it and then he decided he wanted to get involved and that's how he suddenly got involved, potentially. T- for me, I don't think I would call Leo Cohn's uh, vulture culture for that, but what Dame said after about when people take their people and put other people in place of the people that potentially should be there, that might be what he's done. But then in saying that, he's put... Right, he was the one that made um, Jay-Z Def Jam president. So, in the same vein of putting... But they say that he did that to kind of split people up. So, he, 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 did, that, he did that as a power move yeah, yeah, for himself. Yeah, he did that as a power move. As for his, his, but everything, so, yeah, even, 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 could even him, putting, even him putting the Jewish people in power is he's doing it for himself. He's he, not doing it for others, is he? Apparently, he wanted to split up Rockefeller so that he could get more... Right. Well, I don't know about Rockefeller. Or get more but, power but, over... Yeah, he basically done Divided what... what business. Um, America is doing with Rwanda and Congo, if you know your little bit of history. You get me? So what so what we're saying is that um he put Jay-Z in place so he can kind of mash up the place. Well the thing mash up that, Def Jam and kind of. separate certain no, no, things. Not mash up Def Jam. Well well not Rockefeller. Not mash them up but move certain what, what was the problem is with stones the thing with this is, is that too scared to do Dame himself. Dame is very much a is very much a power figure. Let's say the alpha that you want to say. He doesn't allow people to run him. He's, he's very much on, I'm independent. No one's my boss. Nobody should have a boss. If you've got a boss, you're a bitch type thing. Yeah. So he was very much like Rockefeller is not Def Jam. We work alongside Def Jam. So he used to be what they would call this is proper, proper, proper the problematic episode. They used to call Dame Dash problematic. That used to be what they used to call him because he used to come into offices make up a whole heap of noise and go home and you couldn't really do nothing to him because the, he didn't work for you. So what they wanted to do is obviously they, Jay-Z was the biggest star at the time and they wanted to have the biggest star on the on Def Jam still. So what they did was when I think the deal was coming up to a close with Def Jam and Rockefeller, instead of renewing it, they offered Jay-Z the chance to be president of Def Jam. In saying that, I think Jay-Z and Dame Dash also had their same issue, they had their own issues because they, Jay-Z is very much a methodical type person. He, he's the type of person that would use the next man to get somewhere else, I'll see. He would be that type of person to do that. And I think he was prepared to use Def Jam to get to an end to a mean to where he is now. So it's, and I don't think Dame Dash was prepared to do that because he's not prepared to have a boss, basically. It's like a div- divide and conquer type flex. That's exactly what Steph said can, before. Yeah. Can, can I split off very quickly before we split him back in? Because we haven't finished. But... When you mention the stuff about um, what the US and the UK do to certain countries, this is where the old man in me and thinking that where the topics that I actually sometimes want to discuss is a bit different than what we do actually end up talking about. So why don't you discuss and, it? And the thing you mentioned there is is just for people that don't know is when people when some of these uh, Western powers go into countries and they split them up when they leave mm. when they leave what they often do is it's not it's not just they put puppets in power sometimes it's not just a puppet what they'll do is when you have tribes where one is 70 percent of the population and the other is 10 and there's another 10 10 or whatever they're, they're off, very often you'll find if you do your research they'll take the person that is the leader or the head or from the tribe or the culture or the or whatever it is or the religion that is the minority and put them in power and for some reason, that seems to cause a shift because obviously the people that were the majority before you came were running things just by the fact that they were the majority. Then when you leave, you leave the person that was in minority and you put them in power and it seems to be a clash. It's like almost like middle child or little little child syndrome where they now impose themselves on the majority and that's what causes so many of the civil wars in Africa and, and in Asia that you would have seen once uh, these countries have left and gone about their business and said, oh, there's your independence, here's your new leader. So Rwanda, if you're talking about places like Kenya, uh, stuff like this, this is what's happened in um, S- Somalia. So I'd, I'd, I'd just, that was my side splinter off, but let's go back into culture. Let me, let me just quickly touch on that for those that want to know what is actually going on. And I'll be very quick. 
is that um, we all know that Congo uh, produces the most uranium and cobalt. No, which, we don't all know that. Okay. I think, so, I think majority of people don't know that. Okay, so that's a little bit of education for you, that that's what Congo produces. But you will find... Most people don't know what cobalt is. It's what we use for our mobile phones and televisions and so forth, for the microwaves and all these and kind, of, cannot, kind of things. they cannot work without this without substance. Without these things. What you'll find is that the highest producer of these things is Rwanda. Small little Rwanda, which is next to Congo. Big old Congo. And Rwanda are allies of the United States. And Arsenal. Well, there you go. So, so, <laughs> so you got uh, Rwanda, Rwanda and Uganda who kind of work in tandem with each other to get what they want from Congo to sell to the masses. So the United States are getting Rwanda and Uganda to do the dirty work for them to get what they want. And it's kind of a divide and conquer type flex. So, so you've got Rwanda who are very affluent right now, you know, doing really well. If you see their country, they, it looks beautiful, but it is off the back of a lot of genocide, uh, civil wars and all these kind of things that are going on in Congo. So I personally couldn't um, make myself into a great man whilst knocking down my neighbour next to me. But that's what Rwanda and, Con- and Uganda do. It's ir- ironic that you should say that because you know with the Ethiopia and Eritrea thing yeah. recently where they're now um, mm-hmm. back together mm-hmm. again now, yeah? Or they've they've quashed their, their however long war that they've had, yeah? Two decades. I thought it was a bit strange that they just suddenly, all of a sudden, done this, yeah? Something and then enough. today, I see an article saying that the United Amer- Emirates or Arabia, one of them, is um, starting to build a pipeline <laughs> between Ethiopia uh, and Eritrea. Eritrea. And you see why I don't let people so, pay for my meal? So, so Abbas, Abbas in um, if, uh, in Eritrea is the, the port for, I think it's oil. It's a it's an oil point entry point, yeah. so they're using that now to to put a pipeline. Yeah, yeah. no, pipeline kind of the the new leader of Ethiopia, I, I from what I can see of him because he's cussed Western people as well. He's cussed some of the Arab leaders as well, and uh, Arab Arab leaders, you know. From what I see of him, he seems to be kind of gangster because he's coming to play again similar situation to what I was talking before. He's now coming to power because they were the, the his his people were the majority before but they weren't in power they haven't been in power for this last two decades that there's, mm-hmm. there's been some sort of war between these two factions Ethiopia and Eritrea now he's coming to power and he's just said dead all that stuff before the Eritreans wanted a piece of land that this is where the civil war started from. this is what I'm talking it was, about. It, it, it was, it was it splitting off this they, case were, talk, they, they were fighting over th- this piece of land the border. Um, uh, somewhere in, in th- basically they there was a split no surprise there. So, oh, you're now you're Eritrea. Because Eritrea was Eritrea before they became part of Ethiopia. Then they became part of Ethiopia. Then they became a split again. When the split happened, it was almost kind of amicable. But there was a piece of land that they said both parts of them wanted. It's almost like this um, Israel um, and Palestine, uh, Palestine yeah. business. So now this is where they popped off over this one little piece of land. So they've been they've been fighting over that kind of land for twenty years, and this is where they severed ties. You can't call the other side. If basically, the other it's side is dead to us. Yeah, yeah it's the other like side North is dead to South us. Korea, isn't it? Yeah, it's de- dead to us. Yeah. Then when this leader come, he said, "Just take it." He, that's what he said, just take it, and let's just make peace. And that's and that, so the people in that country is like, wow, is is it's popping out. People that were living in Eritrea can actually go and visit family and relatives and stuff that were in Ethiopia that they couldn't go to before for fear of death there's families that's linking up now they ain't seen each other for 10, 20, 30 years sorry well not 30 it's, 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 not, it's only a 20 so, year war but so, it's peak so that's the good side of it but the other side of it is the exploitation with this yeah, pipe but the down. thing is because the, because the ports were in Ethiopia Eritrea couldn't get through to is it um, or, that's the or, other way around or maybe it's the other way around oh, sorry it's the other way around so, so um, like one of them which one's the one that's got actual seed to it Eritrea yeah, yeah. Is what, the, on the coast on the coast yeah Eritrea so that's why because Ethiopia was basically shooting itself in the foot because they had to go round and do other things because the neighbours your natural people that you would have done the business with to get things through the port we can't do it with because they're, they're landlocked there's no there's no sea around them so now they've they made peace it's like now let's just let's do the business now so I don't know if it's part of that that okay now we actually have access to the, the ports we don't have to go this long way about it. Let's let's make moves. I don't know. And that is why no one pays for my dinner. <laughs> so there's always a reason behind it. We're going back to the culture vulture situation because we don't want to stray too far away from it. Leo's done a lot, man, and uh, and he's made a lot of millionaires. Can I? Can all right? Look, I'm just gonna go with this. 
someone's made the accusation about him being a culture vulture. There's been grumbles around it in the industry for as long as I... I yeah, but it's, it's usually from Dame Dash. I know. But wait, but here's the thing now. Dame Dash was at East Coast, yeah? Let's fly over to the West Coast. You remember back in the 90s when uh, Ice Cube was making a really big noise about how... Um, Jerry Heller. Yeah. And how he did them. And this is another one of these Jewish guys again. Yeah, but Jerry Heller's got not... You cannot compare Jerry Heller to Leo Coins. Let the man finish. My point, my point here is, again, he's not of the culture. And he was there making money off of the culture. And he just have, happens to be Jewish as well. Is this what they do, bro? No, but Jer- Jerry Heller. <laughs> Jerry Heller. Jerry Heller was a lawyer. It's what they do. I'm, how about David? It's David Wedigan. David David Wedigan. Yeah, same, same, same thing. Same, same. thing. Jer- Jerry, do, do you know how upset dancehall is about David Wedigan? Yeah, yeah, they don't really are a big fan of. Well, they're a fan, of, but not a fan at the same time. But Jerry is, Heller is he not part of the culture? I, I don't know because I don't know. I'm an outsider. He had to a, this. There was a point where. People, he would have been accepted into the culture, but he's done. He's done some. He's done the same thing that they always do. They come he, in. He's been white. They, they, yeah, that's they, it. They, they is take it just because he's white though? No. no. What's he? What else has he done? Being white. He's being white. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I was saying. No, no, no. He is white, but being white is another thing. You know, I, I, the same thing we're he, talking he, about. He, here. You po- he's more popping because he's white. Full stop. Uh, yeah, he can't do nothing about that though. He, he comes in there, and then the people that are supposed to get <laughs> he comes in here acting all high and They colonize. They colonize, isn't it? Yeah, he col- 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 colonizes. So he's like, a colonizer. So the t- yeah, the thing that the people that are supposed to get credit don't get credit. The people that have been doing it for X amount of time, he doesn't put. He's taking, even he gives credit to. He's, he's always yeah, talking about. But he doesn't put anyone on. Yeah, so he gives you, oh yeah, this man did this first, whatever, whatever, but he's making money off of telling these people that you did it first. He doesn't, he doesn't put you on. He does it no, with words, not the, with deeds. The, the, against, thank let's, you. Let's and, go that's, back to- and that's the beef that some certain man had with Tim Westwood. I remember like our, our friend, one, when when they were uh, kind of trying to break out and become a uh, big artist. Yeah, the, what, what the, did they say? They felt that Tim Westwood wasn't backing him. He was a gatekeeper. And, and, and yeah, he was a, but he wasn't backing anything British. He was yeah, he wasn't, and, he, and he, again, he was looking for stuff to get through. But Jerry Heller, the reason why Jerry Heller is different from Leo Combs is Jerry Heller ha- didn't pretend like he had anything to do with hip hop. He was a lawyer; that's all he was. And then he did basically did contracts with Easy E to swindle the rest of 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 um, uh, NWA. NWA. So it wasn't just Jerry Heller on his own. Easy E also was involved and uh, implicit in the swindling. So he was the house. But in the way, yes. <laughs> Whereas with Leo Collins, it's not a case of Easy, that. It was a case that he was. Ru- he, they were running the business together, so it was him. He was Rick Rubin. Hold on, Rick Rubin and uh, Russell Russell Simmons that was running Def Jams. So it wasn't a case. Rick, Rick, Rick Rubin and, and Russell obviously created it, and then he came in after as like a manager. Do you think Leo Cohen is the one that came up with the three sixty um, three sixty contract? Of course he did. So he's not pretending like he did. Yeah, and that's that raped people. Yeah, but the re- he's he gave a that reason. Rape, I thought, it that gave a three sixty contract was rape, but bro. you don't have to sign it. Explain a three sixty contract. Go on. So a three sixty contract means basically we sign it, and it means that they own your publishing, they own all your rights to like your TV appearances. Basically, they own everything that you do. They've Every merchandise, raping, raping you, ma- raping ma- most, you, most raping you. Back in the day, record label, you sign your record deal. And what you did on the side was your mixtapes, your films, your TV things. You you did separate deals with that. You had a manager, and your manager would go full find. Oh, you got this program on TV. You know, blah 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 blah. A three sixty deal is saying, all right, you you SoundCloud rapper, you, you know, I'm gonna make you big. I'm gonna put you on my label. I'm big big manager, all right. But I don't just want a piece of yourselves of your music and your shows, which is what it was before. I want your merchandise. I want any time, any basically like what anything you do. I'm taking a small cut of it. I'm taking 10% of everything. Everything that goes forward. Just for the fact that I put you on. Because you would not... These the TV companies, the advertising people, the you know Kellogg's or whoever... The, 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 the liquor companies, whoever wanted something from you would not come to you unless you knew, they knew about you. They're only going to know about you from me. So I'm going to take a piece of everything. Even if you go off your own back and make the deal. Hello, raping you records. How but again, help? don't sign it. Is it simple and plain? Yeah, but, yeah, but people are desperate for the deal. No, back but there's enough people. No, not back then. It's now. It's recent. Now, when when no, independent, no, no. the 360 back, deals was from back, back then. then. No, that's no, 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 no. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not. It's a new thing. It's, it's not. It's new. 360 deals are not new, man. They're new. It's they're not. They're from, not from my understanding. They're not from new. back then. How new are you talking about? Like about four or five years. Nah, five years. Maybe maybe uh, under ten years. It's yeah, not, it's not new. Since he left, I mean, uh, not, you just said that he started it. He didn't start with Def Jam. He started it once he left Def Jam. Called 300. Listen. You know what I'm saying to you that 
the three sixty deal is not as new as you're saying? Because the thing that I was just saying now, raping you records. Yeah, was the locks? Yeah, I know what yeah. that is. You know when that was, yeah. yeah, yeah but, but that's that, not no, that's no, not three six. They were on a three six. They, they were on a three six. And it's got nothing to do with three six. Right, trust me, I know. I'm gonna know about this. Right. I know about this. This right. is my era. The locks signed a deal like most of these young rappers do for some reason. Yeah, for some reason, because they they don't let somebody give you the lawyer and and the and the pen to sign. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you get your own lawyer. It's but anyways, the publishing. They, they, about. Yes, they signed the way they're publishing. So whereas I'm saying that somebody might sign a deal and say you get you know you get two points of a song or you get you basically get ten ten percent of every record or whatever. I own your publishing. This is what Jay Z fought for. This is maybe why J- this was the sweetener deal for Jay Z to become uh, the the, the, the manager of really. Def Jam. I own your publishing. Once you've done your shows and you've sold your initial music, anything that happens after that, I'm I make I make all the money. I decide whether I'm basically paying you from your own works. So this is why you have so many people. This is what R. Kelly was talking about when the, he the said, when, when, when he said that he had he's, he's got no money. This is why he has to tour because he doesn't make money mm-hmm. of all these songs that are playing on the radio and that people buy. He doesn't actually make money. So this is what this is what the Lux so, effects about. So 2002, yeah. 2002 is the so, first one. So a long time That's ago. A long time ago. Still. So I'm saying to you. Right. From that, the first fr- the 360, 360 yeah. from Leo Cons. I'm telling well, no, you, it's, Hold not, on. It's, it's not from him directly. What's he saying? From uh, it says here, the first one, Robbie Williams. Just did. I told so you, it's old. Just... It's not new. About five, six years ago, I said that. Oh. And then it went into Live Nation with, with Madonna and then Jay Z in 2008. What? Yeah. Jay Z's not got a 360 deal. So what are you on about? Okay. Uh, they have also been made between. I refuse to believe Madonna has also been made between artists and promoters with Live Nation's 2007 deal with Madonna and 2008 deal with Jay Z. No, Jay Z's deal is for the tours, not for everything. Anyways, I, 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 I will read a bit because I, I don't trust you. I'm not gonna lie. Irrespective, <laughs> irrespective. <laughs> let's 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 just thing. go around the table and ask: Do we think Leo Cohen is a culture vulture? Yes. So Simple Simon is saying yes. I'm saying half, and another reason why I'm saying half because in that in that if you listen to that um, interview, this is where it's gonna get more personal for me. The hey, guy was talking about Afro beats. Well, he's Which coming one? for it. He's coming for it. Basically, uh, you, you need to watch out for the Afro beats because that's coming. And I'm telling you, it's my, he held he held Charlemagne's hand like a preacher. Said, I'm telling you, hold my hand. I'm telling you, when that comes, it's gonna be a wave and it's gonna take over. And it's you melodic. Need to be on it. It's yes, melodic. You gotta need it. Everybody's gonna be. And I'm thinking, you better leave us as alone because he's coming for us. No, he's already got us. He wouldn't he's say. He wouldn't say. He wouldn't say that unless he's already Trust in me, the Wizkid position. Trust me, is there, man. Wizkid said that contract away. Yeah, yeah, he's. He wouldn't say that if he wasn't in the position already. Well, it's YouTube though, isn't it? So he's, he's promoting for YouTube. But he but, w- he wouldn't be saying what he's saying if he wasn't in the position mm. already. All he's doing is funneling traffic now because everyone's me. gonna be like, oh, Afro beats, Afro beats, Afro beats. He's done it, bro. Bro, he's already done the, it. The wave is coming. He's already done it. So I say he's half because I agree with what Dave's saying where they, he'll put his people in, in play. He might have put other people in play. I don't know. I don't know the man's life back to back. Dave probably knows him a lot better than I do. And he's also writing what he was saying. <laughs> probably. He's, he's also writing what well, he's, he's, apparently he don't know Dame Dash. Yeah. And that was the reason why he was getting upset when he was saying that he, he, he goes like he doesn't even know who you are. Because he was trying to say on, on the Breakfast Club, I don't know who Dame Dash is. I don't know who, you, who you're talking about. I don't, to be honest, I don't blame him because the man's been cussing you for the last decade so yeah, I would say I don't know him either because I don't want to talk about him so I, I get that if if you guys were bringing up somebody that had been insulting me for 10 years I'd be like I might not put it that way but the sentiment is the same I don't want to talk about him so that's just a way of putting it I don't know you I don't know you Leave, talk about something else yeah. but anyways so you're saying half and half Simple Simon is saying a full blown yes Mr. Wolf is saying um, what Simple Simon is uh, same thing I don't think he's going to be um, building music studios and doing certain uh, musical educational programs back home. If he does start the Afro beats thing or he goes right in, he's not going to do that. I don't think he's done that in the United States either. So that is, to me is part of giving back. So um, no, I I, it, I think he is a culture vulture, culture appropriation, whatever you want to call it. I don't think he's giving back. He's taking and he's getting very rich off of our music. I just remembered something about that interview. There's a point in there where he talks about some of the artists that take drugs and what he thinks about them. He said that he thinks they're junkies. One. After he said that... He, wait, wait. After he said that he cares about hip-hop and he cares about the industry and, he, and he gives these young guys good advice and all the rest of it, he says, if you're a junkie, I don't want nothing to do with you. I'll... What did he say? I'll, um, I'll make money off of you, basically. 
but he's not trying to help them at all. No, I don't the, see anything wrong with the, the thing was he was saying the one of the the biggest threats to our community or the community now is this drug thing. What the, community the, is he talking he's about? He's talking about the hip hop community. The way that drugs is in fashion, it's in vogue. People are not talking about selling it anymore. They're talking about taking it. There are rappers that have died from drugs and he's saying it's very dangerous to the community. It's like we're properly pushing it to the youngsters. Then Charlamagne asked him, but you sign people that, that, that rap about this. Why do you sign them if you're saying it's the biggest threat? It kind of stumped him for a minute and he's like, well... I don't give a fuck And then, about and then he pushed. He said, I have to feed my family. Yeah, it's that's all about money. That's what he said. After he put it, well, I have to feed my family. And then the man money. said, "What?" And he said, "Listen, I've, 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 I've given you my answer. That's what he said. I've given you my answer." That, that's that's look, that's all to me. That's all clear indications that he's, he doesn't give a shit. All right, so this is Stavros's answer now. Uh, I I think he cares more about hip hop than probably you do, to be honest. By the definition, by the definition that Dame's given, or the, because or that, it pays him, more. that we fleshed out about mm-hmm. culture vulture, I would say he is a culture vulture. By the definition that is. Stavros doesn't actually have problems with culture vultures or appropriators. That's I don't see what the problem is. If I felt that I could make money doing oil, now oil is is, is a long term family business in somewhere like Texas. It's family business is passed on, passed on, and I find my way to a footing in Saudi Arabia or Texas, and I can do some oil business. And they're saying you're a culture vulture to make money. I'll say yes because I'm here. It's a business. I don't actually care about. Your family lineage that's, no, that's on no, this line or no, whatever. No, bad example. All right, and um, oil, let's go to oil, then. oil is an accident. You, you just happen to be in the right yeah, geographic yeah, okay, location. Okay, let's talk, let's you're talking about, about people that have cultivated okay, something. Okay, let's, let's talk about a motor trader. Yeah, you're talking about... No, no, forget you're, you're Let's talk about, about another type of music. You're talking about talent now. Pick, pick a different type of music. Pe- people are bringing out talent. Okay, pick a music it's, that it's is not, not of us. Let's say say uh, Bangra. That's a music, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I would do the same thing. Do what? Whatever Leo Coin is doing, I would do. I would put I would put you man as head of companies. I would go there, support them, make them all big, and make my money off of them. I but don't to be honest, that's that what black should, black should be doing. That is what because, business is because that's what they do to us. It's no, it's, 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 not, it's not because no, no, anybody no, no, does it to no, anybody. Yes, I want to make money. Asian if that's man, how I can make money, yes, then that's how I'm going to make my money, Asian and man, that's the end of it. So yes, I, I'm not going there to to put you down. I'm not going there to stamp on you. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, thing. But, yeah, but yeah, listen, it could be a byproduct of what I'm doing. I'm, do, I'm going no. there to big me and my people up. No, no, but it's not a byproduct of what you're it doing. It's a byproduct. No, because, because I'm, not, I'm not going there wh- to do it. When you start pushing the guns and the violence over the conscious lyric, when you start working with uh, right. government agencies to make sure the music, the music has a certain taint to it, so that the kids are not listening to uplifting things, so that the kids don't have uh, positive imagery to look up to. When you start putting the breasts and the body in the video and the women that are half naked, are, are, are we are we blaming Leo Cons for this? I'm saying it's it's this attack on the culture. Yeah, but it's Leo Cons. No, part but of not this him. He's part of it specifically, but he mm. has because got a part he's, to he's play. He's facilitating bro. these things. All right, this will allow us to do a little bit of a bridge into another subject, which is similar. And let me now, just make a point <laughs> as well, because you said that it's all business, it's all business. This is what the Asian man are doing with the hair shops, isn't it? You are somebody who hates the weave, you hate this, you hate that, but these are the men that push the bleach, the weave, the uh, all these things that you hate so much into our community, and they're making money from it as well. The reason why I don't get upset with these people is because I believe people have accountability for their own actions. Yes, so if, these, yes, they're going into community. No if, doubt. If you know of a black shop that it's does it, demand, you, you ain't it? gonna go to the black shop and do it because it costs a bit more. You're gonna go to the Asian shop. No, not me. No, maybe not you, but most people do. So that's it. So people have the account. You have the choice to to do that. I don't know. That's about it. Most so people, I, can't, I can't look I at the man. There isn't enough. Most of the black most shop black club. people there's are going where shop, it's going to no. be cheaper. It doesn't matter if there's enough. They're going to go to the one that's closer and it's cheaper. And that happens to be the Asian man. So that's it. So that's what's going to happen. Me, I might go further. You might go further, but most people ain't. Nine out of ten of blacks is, is going to go yeah, to the because, closer one. Yeah, because the there's so many shops that are coming into the community. Uh, so that's it. So that's it. You if, know, if, being if, culture if, vultures, isn't it? This is why me. The thing and is, you ain't, me and is, you ain't got a problem with it. No, the thing with me is I have to look at my people and say, you need to do better. I don't look at somebody else and say, please help us out. Please don't do, don't try and, if and we didn't, sort yourself if we, out. If we didn't give them the money, if we weren't such consumers, then they wouldn't be able to do but what that's, they did. Yeah, but that is, I think that is part of our culture as well. That we is like our consumers. But you, then that's our problem. You know when, we got to deal with that problem. You know when uh, a man cheats on his missus and the woman gets upset with the, with the woman as well? Or the woman even more than the man? That's no. like me getting upset with the Asian man. That's the, not for me. I'm that's the you. same thing. Why are you getting upset I, with the woman? I've, the man cheat, no that's problem. your man. That's the I've one you no should be worried about. With us having to do better. 
that's I agree with that. But I'm not going to say that we have to do better. Let me let me let me let me let me put a tape on. Let me let me put a tape on the company or or the or the type of people that are taking. Let me put a tape on that for you. Spoke about weave and you know they're selling us the weave and blah blah blah. But whose head is it coming from? Sorry, whose head is it coming from? I don't know. You tell me. Indian woman, isn't it? So in other words, they're part of the the business itself, isn't it? Brazilian woman. No, that too doesn't come really come from Brazil. It's it, it, so they're part about, of the thing itself. About ninety percent of the so they selling their own hair still. Is is but, Indian. so going to your bridge? All right. While I was on a uh, candy, candy conversations, conversations. Uh, episode number four. Yeah, big up candy conversation. Big up sincerely tops. Big up sincerely tops. Who will be back on the show at some point? Yeah, she wanted to try and come on the show after. I think she might be wanted to come on maybe this one. She said she would, but um, obviously we're recording so late, so it's fortunate. But. Cause it's gonna, be, it's to gonna be, be quick now. By herself, unless you guys want to talk about yeah. something else, it's gonna be the last thing, unfortunately. Um. Anyways, so you were there, and they were discussing uh, black, black representation, black representation yeah. on the media. So we'll talk about Ping Life. Did you watch it? I watched it. Yeah. All yeah, right. So we'll it. talk about that in a second. But just something you mentioned that we're discussing on. While well, I brought up a point when they were discussing uh, Big Nasty and how. Basically, they didn't. A lot of people said they weren't happy with the representation that he's bringing on the show. You know, he's a bit clownish, and they didn't like the fact that the black people that we have on TV are clowns. And then Big Wilder brought up the fact that, um, uh, what's that show? The one that you uh, mentioned, Bulletproof. Bulletproof was it was on TV. Or it was on Sky. It had about six or nine episodes, or whatever it was. Uh, it came on weekly, the same as the other one did. You could watch it uh, on Catch Up, the same as the other program did. But nobody spoke about it on social media, and everyone spoke about so uh, Big Nasty. And it was brought up that maybe it's the the negative that we want to discuss. Maybe it's the negative that we're drawn to. So what you mentioned before, which I can't even remember the, the thing now, but my, the point you're bringing is that we talk about this, we talk about that, and uh, yeah, that's it. When you're talking about um, the, the booty, no, the putting the drugs in the community or pushing drugs, yeah, pushing, pushing, song. pushing booty, pushing uh, crime raps. Mm-hmm. The thing is, if that's what people want to listen to, if that's what people are gonna buy, then by all means, that's what I'll sell. Because I'm not here to to to, to baby you. You can go and find you uh, say, conscious you, rap. You say you that. You can go and find no, conscious no, rap if but you want you, to. You say that, yeah, but there comes a point where what you're being exposed to is what you're pushing. Like weave. Yes. So they're exposing it, is my point. So they want to sell this stuff. But my point is that when you had a program and maybe they didn't overlap, but one came immediately after the other, bulletproof, positive, black man, black wife, black family at home, two policemen doing good for their community, doing good and fighting crime. And you have Big Nasty, who I'm not, hopefully there's no offence or nothing, but people, the people said that that seemed a bit coonish, seemed a bit uh, clownish. Which one got all the, the the topics? Which one got the, we need we need season two? Did anyone talk about Bulletproof? Did the black people push it up? No. So, I the, so think, the point I is, think it's been you, you, long, you had the opportunity to discuss nah, nah, which one? Nah, and nah, what did listen, we discuss? Listen, we discussed listen, the one that was full of jokes. Yeah, it, this, so, is, this is part of the whole agenda, bruv. It's not, as, it's not as simple and as straightforward as you make it out to be in those devils. Because back in the day, there was um, uh, more uplifting music. There was uh, music that unified communities. You get me? You, we can go as, back as far as uh, your... Um, Native tongues. Not Run, Run, DM, not Run DMC. Public Enemy. Yeah? Which was on Def Jam, can, by the way. We can go that far back and we can go far back and look at the Cosby show and 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 uh, and, let's uh, not go there. and what's and what's the other program um the one where they were a different in world a different world during that time you see black affluent families kids going to college in a comedy type aspect now you you've got a whole lot of nonsense a, a certain type of music that you know highlights uh, 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 violence and uh, exploits our women and all these kind of things. So I do think that there is a place for it. But, yeah, but if the biggest... you only push that, then you're going to assume that the consumer doesn't want to listen or they don't want to okay. watch that. And I think that there's a, that's a nonsense. There is a market for it, but because it's not out there, people are going to assume that people don't want to listen the biggest rappers and that people all, don't want to watch three it. Three of the biggest rappers out now are Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole and Drake. Yeah. I wouldn't say all three of them push violence, sex, and drugs. Not three of the the three biggest. Are they? Yep. I think they said the most. Okay. So you've gone three out of 
however many. Yeah, but I'm saying you're saying they push this, they push that. But if the biggest selling artists are the ones that actually are not doing that, there's then three clear, then. Then clearly they're, they're, not, they're not necessarily just, push, think, just pushing that, are they? I there, think there there's are three out of on, maybe on, 50 on, on or good, 60. Good records. Um, Chance the Rapper, no, no, Big Sean. No, no, Chance, yeah, Big Sean. He's, Chance he's, the Rapper, he's another massive stuff. rapper that is thingy. There were plenty of other rappers that... Nobody was pushing Chance. I'm not saying that, that, that there's Chance. none out there. But yeah, but what, he's massive. But, but what Stavros was alluding to is that this is what sell, this, this is what will make me more money. So this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. But anyways, we, unfortunately, we've run out of time. But let's just talk about Peng Life. That's the name of the program, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, did you watch it as well? No. So how did you feel? Um, I kind of felt... I think I wrote it in the group. I kind of felt like Peng Life was kind of what... Big, the, nasty, the big nasty show was supposed to be. Oh, sorry, Peng Life is the is the show by the, the chicken connoisseur. the chicken connoisseur. He had the YouTube uh, channel. I thought he was hilarious. I think it, I really enjoyed the chicken connoisseur. Can you imagine this dude is going around rating chicken shops, and that was it. It was what five ten minute clips or whatever, and I thought he was wicked. It was very well scripted. He was a funny dude. You know, he had, he had he had an angle. The the, the the filming and editing was great on that program as well. Yeah. So it was an all round good program, and obviously he's been picked up by Channel Four now. For some reason, it's like they're going around picking up black stuff. So they've got Big Nasty, they've got Mo, because Mo is coming out with his own show on Channel 4 and uh, uh, the, the Chicken Connor. Yeah, but Channel 4 has always show. been like that. They go as but it seems like now it's like a, it's, it's, it's quite, it's you know, it's because quite Because they've, they've seen what... My social what people, media. What people... This is what I was saying on the actual show on um, Candy Conversation. Black Twitter is a weapon. And they've seen what is being picked up by Twitter. They've seen what people are doing on Twitter and they're going forward with that. And that is what I'm trying to say. These are the reasons why they're getting picked up because Black Twitter is now pushing um, and making what is, you know, what is famous, what is good. All right, so the show? So I, I agree with you, yeah. It's so there's, there's a power move that's happening in this show now, yeah? So remember, Chicken Connoisseur was going around London visiting all the chicken shops. Cause, yes. Because the idea was that he was going to rate food that the average Joe would have come into contact with a lot and done it outside of this normal format of going to all these bougie restaurants yeah so mm. here's the here's the first spin this show is sponsored by kfc <laughs> okay wow so that's the very that's the very first spin so he's got kfc in there um the editing of this is very very similar to um what's it called peng munch or whatever the, the chicken the pengus munch yeah, what, what is what is it about though? it's um so imagine he's doing the same review things but not just for chicken so he's reviewing a whole bunch of things. So I think this week, the first one, the first episode, he was reviewing a hundred thousand pound sports car against a ten thousand pound sports car. He did um, uh, a normal kebab from kebab shop on ends against a thousand pound kebab um, that's been sold in some special exclusive. Place. So he's rated high end versus low end. He's been yeah. So this this show he's done high end versus low end on a number of different um, uh, industry sectors, but. What I what there's so there's two things that I really liked about this show. The first thing is there is no difference between him on the Pengus Munch and him on this show. Okay, so he's coming with that smart thing. He's exactly the same. There's no um upsell, there's no uh exaggeration, he's exactly the same. So that that he's unchanged there. As we could say Big Nasty was. No. Nah. That's the thing. Big Nasty, Big Nasty on Uncle Payne and Big Nasty on the Big Nasty show were two different people. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so continue with, with let's, let's oh, not paint so, him too much. Cool. The other thing that he did uh, that I thought was really good is that all of the, um, what do you call high end and normal end or whatever he called it, high end and the normal end, mm. all of the normal end places were places that we all know of. Yeah? So he even went into DNLs because he did a high end barber against what he considered to be uh, a local barber. Mm. And he went into DNLs and he compared him to some other guy that's um, doing haircuts at three grand, three bags. Oh, okay, okay, I actually okay, sent okay. that to Slider, telling him he had to pop his rates, bro. <laughs> pop your yeah. rates, bro. But the sh- like, so he compares them and he gives them ratings like like that. So for me, I don't know it, that, that. So that was that element that I liked as well. And the third element that I liked was that he bought his mandem through. He actually bought his mandem through. He got two um, um, co-hosts. They're, they're relatives, I think. Maybe. No, I think they used to be in the Penguins Munch as well. Maybe, but they're twin. No, I don't, I don't remember uh, seeing them uh, too much. They might have been behind the camera. But he had somebody with him that he was like twins. filming him, innit? They, they were, were twins. Tw- he was always talking to. So they were twins, yeah? And he brought them through on this show as well. And he brought them through properly. Like their names in the credits. They've got a section of the show where just where them doing a section. I like what he's done. Well done. Well I, done. I like what he's done. Like I, I, 
I watched it with my dad. My dad was in in in, um, in tears throughout the whole thing. He was creasing up. He's funny. He, the guy is he's hilarious. That Elijah guy is he's is he a comedian? Hilarious. He's not, but he's just so one he's of just the got that you know the man that are just funny, just yeah. naturally funny. Mm. He, oh, like mate. when you look at Wallace's face. Wow. All right, that brings us to the end of the show. Unfortunately, well, his lineup. <laughs> listen, yeah. listen, listen. Don't disrespect my lineup. Yeah, can, can, I, can I just say something? Big up K, yeah. <laughs> when <laughs> big up K, yeah. When Wahala sent the clip round of the kind of conversation that he had pre before it was released, and he's like, um, "Yeah, here's a clip of, of of the thing. It's the advert, basically." So. A couple of mans on different groups, different groups, yeah. Because somebody, somebody called yeah, me and said, "Wow, your hair, your, your, they did your trim properly, yeah." So uh, somebody from this group said it. Other groups said it, yeah. And like he said, uh, somebody called him. I didn't know about, right? Now the thing is, right? He said that. Tell him what you said. Told your barber. I told the barber make sure that the line is nice. Why? Make sure it's crisp because I'm going on the telly. Mate. Okay, hold, <laughs> hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Now I'm thinking. He had to tell his barber. How cheeky is that? that I come to you every week or two mm-hmm. weeks to it's cut my hair. It's the same way he cuts my and hair. And nah, only because I told you I'm going to be on TV. No, that's no, actually let, when you let, put let, the effort let, in. Let me tell you something. It's a bloody cheek. It's not him. It's a bloody I, cheek. I'm not going to let. I'm not going to let you slew the barber because he's, I actually know it's slew me. Problematic. I actually, I actually know it's me. Your barber is problematic. Blow, I, I actually know it's take. me, and let me tell you why I know it's me because I can leave the barber looking one way, and by the time I've got home and did whatever I'm doing, it looks a completely different way. This time I just left it. I just, I just washed it and greased it. Most of them I don't even grease my hair. Most of them. That's what I actually took care of. You it. don't grease your hair? Yeah, I do it, but I don't do it too often because. It, Grace you know, girl. Yeah, the razor bumps and stuff, it, it, sometimes I can get affected and stuff. So I just. Every so often, I don't do it so much. I don't do it the same with everyone. Every so man. often, Alcohol. I don't do it so much. That I'll, is just, the most I'll, Nigerian I'll line it, I wash it a lot. I wash it often, obviously, but. um, Yeah, because it, it causes some problems. For okay, my okay, okay. Yes, but, um, I'm sure we would have done that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, innit? But yeah, man, people was calling me. I was like, hey, hey, is it? you know one thing I didn't notice though being on that show? There we go. And I didn't notice before. And you lot show, show man. Yeah, my teeth, is, my teeth is wild out here, man. That's why I'm saying you suck your finger. Oh. And my teeth is like, I didn't know it was that bad. Your teeth is what? Like it's buck. Buck or buck, buck From teeth. day one, bro. Yeah, but I didn't know it was that bad. So yeah. then when I was talking, I was thinking, why is my teeth so forward? And the, the, and the other teeth so back? Why does it look like Bad I'm, man, forward, like bad like man, pull up. Like I'm eating carrots when I'm talking. This is wow. you guys ever talk to me. You got What's your up, doc? Mine's not as bad as yours. Yeah. Which is weird, isn't it? Which is weird because yeah, exactly. Because you, you still suck your thumb. I still suck my thumb. But yeah, I man, I, did, I don't look the when I look in the mirror. Boy. We need to talk about that. On we don't need episode, to. Yeah, on another episode because we yeah. need to. Done but that. yeah, so yeah, big up candid conversations again. Big up sincerely. Talks. You enjoyed your time there. I enjoyed my time, and, and 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 she would like me to obviously tell the public that they're not as as vicious as everybody believes them to be. The ladies were all nice to me. I didn't have any. Help. I didn't have anybody on my neck. Rob, that's not what you told me. I didn't have anybody on my neck. Yeah. You look so, like is that a little bit of a scratch on your neck? No, no, nah, nah, I didn't have no one on my neck. No kitten heels on my neck, mate. I was, they was all nice to me. I had um, I had a good time there. Did and, they uh, feed you? God for sake. There, the there was food available, hills. but I um, obviously don't eat everything at the moment, so it was more snacks and, and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really want to get involved. But yeah, um, yeah, man, I had a really good time. Um, hopefully, gonna be on more episodes. So we'll see how it goes. Anything mm. anybody else wants to say before we go? Uh. Power is very average. Yeah, it's rubbish now. <laughs> oh, wow. Big up Snowfall. I need to watch that. Yeah, uh-huh. big up. You do need to watch it. All right. Um. Well, Don't go to me now. Okay. We are coming to the end of episode 85, I believe, of season two. Well, how I want it known that this is season two. We had a first season many years ago. So how many is that all together? I don't know, but we're Imagine. over 150. Oh, yeah. About 100, almost 100, 170 almost. 170 or so, who knows? Who well, knows? 75 on the last one, isn't it? Who knows? I don't know. I don't care anymore. Right, let's go to Simple Simon. At Simple Simon FB on Twitter, Um, I want to give one big shout out. I think it was, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday we had the opportunity to um go and support some black business up in Turnpike Lane. So I'm going to shout out a restaurant called Onidodo. Dodo. In oh, brother is nice. Man. That is in Turnpark Lane. So yeah, that, vex, that address is 83 Turnpark Lane, Haringey, N80DY. Wow, off the top How of far his is dome. That from the uh, train station. Okay, so if you're at Turnpark Lane train station, come out the exit for the main Turnpark Lane cross junction and step across the road and keep going down. It's like five minutes. Okay. Um, it's opposite the Ladbrokes on Turnpark Lane. If you know Turnpike Lane at all, and it's a Nigerian, it's restaurant. a Nigerian um, restaurant. 
I want to say fusion, but I don't know if it's fusion. I think it's um, it's not really fusion. It's just Nigerian restaurant with classic rep- recipes with a twist. I it's would a say. fusion, but if, from when you're bringing in waffles, the waffles is not Nigerian delicacy, man. Fair enough. Yes, yes, fair enough. Yes, yes. No, no, you're very right. It's a Nigerian fusion restaurant, and they are doing it exceptionally well. I'm, but it's, it's done better so. than that one in um, uh, what's what's the one that we were talking about the other day? Igoyi. Ikoyi. Ikoyi is yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that with... That uh, is a fusion, I guess. It's, it's, it's definitely a it's, fusion. It's more of a kind of upper class, up market No, but they, they took thing. Nigerian yep. food and they and they made it like... Something else. Yeah. Bro, well, because this, because this, the chef is Oriental, bro. We had, or we had, East Asian or whatever. Yeah, this, this, is, a, this is an Af woman, trust this me. Is, this is a, yeah, it's a Nigerian woman. Nigerian woman. I, but how was the fish, bro? The, the, oh, bro, it, it was 3.5 kilos 3.5 kilos just give it about a year and a half and it will turn into some tiny little sardine nah, I don't listen know. to what I'm saying to <laughs> alright yeah so anyway yeah I'm saying to back them they opened up in February Um, they're doing big things like I just said Um, the, the baked tilapia is like 3.5 kilos and that's the normal size people yeah decor the, yes the, right. the nice. decor is nice in there Five star cleanliness it's, rate, it's, it's, yeah. Five star it, hygiene rating. It's, it's not too big, so don't expect to be able to take 150 people in the place. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's nice. Um, we had the waffle and chicken and waffle. Yeah, that's, um, soya chicken and waffle. Soya chicken and waffle. But apparently, that's a special for August. But we requested that they keep that there forever because it was banking. So it's soya uh, soya chicken. Well, it's not necessarily with the pepper. It's like she's cooked it in like a seasoned soya pep thing, um, um, and then fried it, and then. They have like a um, plantain on top of the the, the mm, waffle, mm, and then and they put egg mm, if you want egg on it as well. Mm. It was, trust me, it was like but you know what, it, you know what, you know what. Because I did make a comment that it is kind of like the duck and waffle thing, mm. but that is exactly like what the yeah, duck and waffle restaurant do. Well. Yeah, they do I, the I, egg I and everything. I don't care. They don't it's do nice. the plantain though, do they? No. Yeah, exactly. and, and then um um big up the actor who was not here. Big him up. He had like something called um he had oxtail with triple cooked plantain. Yes. Mm. It looked nice. It's like you had been fried, it's grilled, not, it's and not baked. Kele, it's not Kelly Wille business. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> you should have no, seen no. their faces. Nice plantain, bro. <laughs> and it was, that was really, really nice. I had the goat the goat meat. That was fantastic. Everything we ate. And then, and then Tops had the agege bread dessert. This so just it was sounds agege fantastic. Agege bread. Um, agege French toast, sorry. Yep. So they made agege French toast with um blueberries, Ice cream, strawberries, s- um, uh, powdered sugar, caster sugar, strawberries, and cr- ice cream. Oh my god, it was nice, man. Bigger up, man. And we were just talking about gege bread last week. Yeah, yeah we just last week. And this, gege uh, bread, a gege bread dessert. Oh, and they have a dessert that's an apple crumble with chin chin on it. Yes. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, okay, no, okay, no. Okay, we have to okay, put okay, a menu out there okay, like that. Yeah. Okay, so okay. anyway, that's only dodo. Um, that is www.oni. D O D O dot co dot uk Oni Dodo Oni That's, that's Oni, not water Oni, is it? Dodo, no Omo um uh, Omi is Dodo So which, which, which one is Oni now? I think that's like a name know. mate Either way Yeah because Dodo is is the plantain isn't it? Not necessarily My mistake It could be It's, it's not Dodo I don't know what it, I don't know what the thing is You'd have to ask them because if, they, if it doesn't have the, the accents on it then I don't necessarily know what it okay. is Okay sorry sorry we're Yeah so if you need to find them you can search on Twitter it's only Dodo as well Um, I gave you the website as well Definitely uh, Simple Simon's pick of the week Patronize him that black business and Trust me Alright Um, Mr. Wolf Um, Twitter aka underscore Mr. Wolf Instagram, aka Mr. Wolf. And yeah, man, good to be back after a couple of weeks. It's good to have you back, brother. Yeah. Nice. And Oni, isn't that like a, one of the gods, Yoruba gods? Maybe. I think. And Dudu is DU, DU, not, not DO, DO, is it? No, DO, DO. So maybe it's the black god. But just find out when we'll it's later, man. <laughs> okay, so all right. Sorry. I'm Go us on, Wahala. Yeah, because Yoruba people are properly cussing us right yeah. now. The ones that know they're like, these idiots look at them they I'm not Yoruba you bob boy Sister Sam is not Yoruba Oh, you bob boy whatever he says he says I don't know what he said Ibokwano yeah one of them things Ibokwano they had a good podcast Mamano. and then they went and spoiled in the end look at this guy holding his head go on Big Wala your church notes and your socials at Big Wala Insta at Big Wala on Twitter Um, I want to shout out One Stop Dreadlock and she's going to be on a show so not like a show, like a podcast that show, but they, they they're doing like a um, it's like a hair event for experts and such. It's called Afro Hair Talk. 
uh, the practical edition. It is on the 2nd of September. It is between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. And it is at the Strand Palace Hotel, London, WC2ROJJ. Um, Again, that's the Strand Palace Hotel. Um, you can buy your tickets from Eventbrite. Please do so. And she'll be there talking about, obviously, everything to do with dreadlocks. I was going to cut you off, man. 2nd of September. Just uh, as they I'll did on away. the BBC. <laughs> 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 well, no, no, no one ever lets me do my adverts without us having my adverts being done. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, that's that is uh, you got a few weeks for that still, so I would recommend do that at the beginning. I'll do that, I'll, go, I'll do it every week. If I do it at the beginning, it. I'll do it every week. Um, okay, well, well done, well done. She's an expert panelist, there. yeah, of course, man. What do you yeah, mean? I'm an expert, yeah, now. yeah. So, all you, all you women that want to have uh, fake hair, go and listen to the expert at this place on the 2nd of uh, September and then do the right thing. And I'll be in Africa looking at all the fake hair. All day. Oh, god damn, all right. Before Stavros say. says. This week is uh, bigging up my boy Alexander Mosi. You've heard us mention the name a couple of times. Uh, his Lux Afrique Polo Day. Um, that is on the 18th of August. So it's uh, soon after this podcast comes out. And basically, it's a polo event where with an African twinge, an African taint. Mm. You you would know more about it, Mr. Wolf, than me. Uh, well, we know that polo is uh, quite popular back home, isn't it? So, um, I didn't know that. Very, very popular in Nigeria um, and in some southern parts of Africa as well, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and what have you. Um, obviously, it's for a certain clientele that, um, that will watch the thing. So what he's done is that he's decided to bring... Um, African polo players to London to play and to, you know, hit the wooden thing on the ball and with horses and, you know, people looking elegant and fine and suave. So he's getting uh, good people, high-end people together. And what I would say is that come down to enjoy the this thing. And, and also, well, it, you know, it is a networking thing, but it's also for you to come and enjoy yourself. So um, if you are somebody who wants to get in with a certain type of people from all kinds of different backgrounds and businesses, um, then I would say come down and network, man, and see where I go on. But also, it's a day and a night after party to just enjoy yourself. Well, he gave it better ratings than I would have. Sorry, not better ratings. He, 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 he picked it up better than I could. You're a better promoter than I am. So uh, it's uh, £49 is, is the baseline ticket. It does go up a bit more. If you are bowling, you can go up to 5 k Yes, mm. that is five k for a table of uh, ten, um, but there's there's tickets ranging between forty nine and and five thousand. During the day, it's at the Ham Polo Club, which is in London. The dress code is African boldness stroke polo chic. It's supporting the Nelson Mandela Foundation, so it's polo. Food is inclusive in in that fifty pound ticket. Uh, gourmet African food, by the way, and uh, you see the polo game and a live performance. Like uh, Mr. Wolf said, there is an after party. Let me just get the details up for that. And that is at uh, Madame Club. Did I, did I pronounce it right? Madame. Madame. Because uh, it's two different words. And that is on uh, 58 Porchester Road. But you can find out all these details the same day. Uh, and you can find out all the details at luxafricpolo.com. So that's L U X A F R I Q U E P. P O L O dot com and get all the details there. You can buy your tickets, find out what it's all about, uh, and find out more information. So that is my Stavros says this week. How much was the uh, Beyonce tickets? Uh, just under hundred pound. So I mean, fifty pound for normal events, I would say, is expensive. But this is something different, which uh, will take you into the after party as well. So it does start from fifty pound up to ninety nine pound, and then one ninety nine and Two fifty-five, and then five hundred, and then so and so. Forth. You're justifying the price, yeah, man. If people can't afford it, they can't afford it. Well, if they can't afford it, then fine. But if you can, and you're just saying no because of the price, then come down. A number of the ESN guys will be there, so if you want to see us and tell us how problematic we are in person, you can come down and talk to me to, in my face. In it, you don't have to block me. You can block me in person now. So I am Stavros Boss. You can catch me at Stavros Boss and block me there. Wonderful. I'll take that on the chin, no problem. You can catch us collectively at ESM Podcast 
on all your social media search for eloquently saying nothing on facebook use the hashtag esn pod that is esn pod when you're uh discussing us and all the questions and comments that we have on this podcast uh use the email esn podcast at gmail.com if you want to send any questions or long form stuff in but or dilemmas by all means please send it in i am the relationship expert I will tell you about yourself. Please let me tell you because I do know what I'm talking about. Trust me, I will enhance your life. Just send me the questions and I'll let you know. You sit there quietly and listen to what I've got to say. Uh, I believe that is it. Yeah, thank you for listening to episode 85 of the Eloquently Saying Nothing podcast, series two. Shout out the actor. Hopefully he's back for next week. Peace. And if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. It's all about Rome and his big fat sister Naomi. The two of them claims that them know me and them argument throw me, throw me, throw me. What's, what's that last word? I, I, I don't know none of the lyrics to that song. That's the never first, that's never the first time I've heard the lyrics. Now he said it to me. Oh, no, um, the missus sent it, said it to me one time. And I said, I, I used to say, PG used to say, it's all about Ronnie. And I said, my thing, my dad, you're on it. I thought it was just shouting rubbish. I don't know what you were saying. I didn't even, I didn't even put words to it. They were the sounds to me. And I'm on it. And I'm on it. And I'm on it. Pick up the Sony. The TV, them, man. I don't know what he was saying, man. That said Sony TV, them, man. That's what someone needs to do, man. They need to do.